Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the world. I kind of went back old school with that one. I don't, I don't fully know why. But hey, guys, it's a podcast. We're here. We're in it. From the sidelines, episode 25. I had to look at my notes because I kind of forgot for a second. We're in the building. Um, we we don't have a guest. It's just us. Um, so, yeah. I Welcome back. It's very exciting. <laughs> the reason, the whole reason uh, we why got, you guys come back. Yeah, exactly. We got Stephen Hatch. What's going on, man? Let's go, baby. Welcome back for an episode 25. He's he's always got some good topics. He, he's always here. It's awesome to hear his perspectives, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to bathrooms. Um, and then we yeah, also got Brandon. Uh, what's up, Brando? What's up, guys? We're a quarter of the way now. Well, the show's a quarter of the way. I'm not a quarter of the way yet, but the show's a quarter of the way uh, to 100. To 100. Exciting. That's true. Yeah. Yo, Hatch. Damn, dude. That's actually we've. That's six months, right? It's crazy to think about, I think about, bro. the next yeah, show would be six it's months. Half a year. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, God guys. Damn, man. We've been making consistent shows. Look at us. Hey, without at and us. without you guys' support, without you guys' support, man, thank you guys so much. Seriously. For sure. And just real quick, wanting to mention one of those uh, companies that supports us, Liquid IV. We appreciate them for coming on. We will talk about them later on in the show, as always, give you guys a little more information about that. Um, but if you want to help us out, head over there, pick it, uh, pick some up with code Mafia underscore Moffitt, and you'll get 21, or I keep doing it. Dude, you'll, get 20, you'll get 20% off and free shipping over there. So we'll talk about them a little more later on, but thank you for Liquid IV for sponsoring the show tonight. But yeah, we we got a lot to talk about, boys. Um, mm-hmm, hell, freaking, it's been raining like a mother in California. Um, so bad. A, a police officer has made all of the meme news, so that's a thing we got to talk about. Iconic Paintball put out their nominations list, so we're going to go through some of those. Um, we have a little... I think we might have some updates about the forest. I think you were telling me about that, Hatch. Some video game type news. We'll have that later yeah, on in the show. Um, Hatch also told me he had a would you rather lined up. So we're going to. This one's fucking crazy. This one might change your. You, this one will get you thinking for sure. I'm I'm actually excited for that. And then last but not least for our topic list tonight, we're going to kind of, you know, we're going to make a podcast goal. We're going to we're going to bring it up and we're going to try to get it done and set it in stone on recording. So, yeah, guys, mm. uh, we got a lot to talk about. So, you know, grab a drink, strap in. And I mean, yeah, let's let's get to it. How have you uh, you guys been doing in the rain? Well, here it's, it's it's like doing little drizzles here. You know, there's some flooding here, flooding there. It's not too bad, right? But yeah. what about you, Brando? You said it was pretty crazy on your drive home. Well, yeah, today. I mean, it, it hasn't rained today. Barely rained yesterday. But, um, yeah, uh, uh, Highway 99 was closed on in Lodi, so I couldn't take that home. There was three accidents on I-5, so I couldn't. I didn't want to take that home. God damn. So, I, yeah, I took 99, and I, I cut across uh, Galt to go to I-5. Fucking little did I know that was all flooded. I was, yeah, I I almost didn't make it home. I had to jump on Discord and make sure that you know th- <laughs> you guys would know where I was. Um, yeah, yeah, that was, that was a little nerve wracking. Just in case murder, you know, put a pin in it. Yeah, no, you know, <laughs> good good to know in case we never hear from Brandon again. It was his last Not point of bad, contact dude. to us. <laughs> we were just like playing, we were just playing Valorant, like chilling, like oh dude, yo heaven, heaven, back left, <laughs> heaven. We just, we just hear, heaven. We just hear all of a sudden you just hear Brandon go, holy fuck, and it's like cut off. We're just like. Where'd Brando go? I he went to heaven. Um, <laughs> we're talking about in the video game. In the video game. Um, but yeah, man, dude, it's it's been kind of crazy over here. I mean, same rain stuff. We haven't had really the flooding. Um, in case you guys aren't aware and you're not a Californian, it's rained here. And you know, most states would be like, "You bitch ass pussies! Like you can't deal with some rain." We don't get rain, so when we get a lot like this in like two weeks, it it fucks with a lot it. of things. Um, but yeah, dude, I California drivers do not know how to drive in the rain. So no, dude, they and I'm kind of crazy. I'll put myself into that a little bit because when I'm not like used to it, I'm like, oh fuck, I forget. Like so, I was going through this this turn <laughs> and uh, I was taking a right. It's taking it a little bit too fast, kind of slid out my rear end, caught it up a little bit. But the annoying ass part is. Like, I kind of felt the need to go that fast because I got a dude who's, like, right on my bumper who's, like, trying to do the same thing. And it's like, man, let's uh, let's slow down a little bit. It's really, really slick out here. You know, we got to be safe. But, um, yeah, so that's that's California right now. It's it's raining here, and that's a problem. Welcome to our state. <laughs> and, like, the people in Sacramento, too. I don't know. Like, Bay Area drivers are something different as well. But Sacramento, I don't know. Something in the fucking Sacramento people are just, they piss me off. Rain or not. 
Yeah. Like, the range just amplifies. Yeah. Are we, are I live we gonna with go a bunch of talk? grandmas, bro. I live with <laughs> a bunch of grandmas, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. But I kind of feel that's where we're going because it's like I agree. Like fucking, I don't know. It's, it, traffic is is a weird one because like we're gonna complain and then someone in some other state, like I don't know, like I know Dallas area, they have really bad traffic. They're gonna be like, "Fuck you, you don't know shit, pussy," and it's gonna be like, "Well, I'm complaining about what I know, all right? I got 99 <laughs> problems, but yours ain't mine." <laughs> Um, so with, with all the rain here, we don't know how to handle it. Like whatsoever, like at least my town, it's kind of like, eh, it's okay when it comes to handling rain, but overall, you know, my backyard's pretty flooded. I got to like, uh, open the gate every once in a while, let some water flowing through it. But dude, my dog, this little <laughs> Callie, fucker, yeah. dude, she hates the rain. Like, I'm like, all right, let's go outside, get right up to the door. She looks at it. She goes, hell no. Like, Fuck and the thing is, right. I got to be extra careful with her, dude. She takes big old shits and I don't want that ever in my house. <laughs> Jesus. Right. So, I had to make sure she goes outside. Sometimes I gotta take her on a leash. Not gonna lie. Yeah. No. I mean, stand there with the umbrella. You gotta do what you gotta do. You don't want that inside, mm-hmm. bro. I feel that. All right. So, quick, quick little story. So, um, Sunday night uh, after paintball and everything, we got home. We showered. Uh, it was supposed to rain uh, that night, <clears throat> going into Monday, and you know, yeah, our dog. Our dog is scared of the rain, too. He'll just pace back and forth in the rain, uh, anxiety or whatever. And uh, we get him in the garage, but he just wouldn't shut up. He was standing. You could, we could hear him in the garage just whining, whimpering, whining, and hitting hitting the uh, garage door. Like, Dude, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. I'm yeah. pissed off. Get me out of here, bro. <laughs> but he's dry. He's dry. Whatever. Um, Ungrateful, bro. It, it doesn't know how exactly. good he has it. Ungrateful. There are starving Fuck. dogs in Brazil right now, okay? Hey, dude <laughs> all right so uh we're laying in bed and michelle is like i'm gonna put him outside either i'm gonna i'm either he goes outside or you gotta or we kill the dog you, <laughs> yes basically you burn the head. Um, <laughs> you burn the truck <laughs> uh, so i'm like like I'm, I'm about to fall asleep i'm like fuck all right whatever so i didn't want to throw him outside in the rain so I grab a goddamn blanket, I put some sweats on, I put two pairs of socks, I put a big hoodie on, I walk right downstairs, I jump, jump in the garage with him, lay down on his bed, and I fall asleep with him. I'm like, nice. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and then, you know, That's I'm out of shit right there. This is what happens when you get engaged, ladies and gentlemen, you will sleep with the dog if the dog is upset. <laughs> yes, in the dog house. In yes. the dog house. <laughs> Dude, that's like, um, a, that's like the good version of the dog house, though. Dude, yeah, and I, but I'm pissed off at him because it's cold and it's I'm not in my bed and, and I'm like you motherfucker, why don't you shut the hell up? Well, you know, I'm, or I might put you outside. Then I fall asleep mm-hmm. and I wake up in the middle of the night and it's raining so hard. I'm like, oh, thank God I didn't put him outside. <laughs> so, was it raining yeah. when you were thinking about it or what? No. Ooh, okay, okay. So no, it it's was just timing. it was supposed to rain, so I didn't it's want to put him checked. outside. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. That would have sucked yeah, balls. So. Slept in the garage with the goddamn dog. Dude, okay. <laughs> That's a solid night. Let me tell let me tell you, let me tell you, okay. Uh about Sunday, right? You know me, my bathroom stories. I had oh, to damn. tell dude, I I have to tell this one, dude. Jesus. This is this shit. As soon as it happened, I was like, bro. I'm disappointed so when right I tell now. this. I am. Gonna be, I was like, I'm, they're gonna be so pissed when I tell this. Dude, so I'm going to the fucking Starbucks bathroom, right? I fucking go in, blowing that shit up, right? Okay. Dude, a fucking guy walks in unlocks the fucking door somehow and walks in and starts washing his fucking hands doesn't even see me and i'm just like taking a shit on the toilet and i'm just like bro what the fuck right and Wait. uh and he turned he doesn't what even see fuck? me you did so you doesn't didn't even... lock it or dude i did lock it yeah it's like a code puncher door right where you huh, punch a code okay. right and so he punched the code that shit opened right okay and uh <laughs> So he walks through straight, doesn't even, doesn't even look my direction. And I'm just like this. I'm just like, Oh, like my phone. I'm just like, Holy shit. Like I was like jumping. I was playing stick bug, dude. Camp perfect camouflage. Right. And so he just walks up, washes his hands, turns left, looks right at me. And he goes, Oh shit. My bad, bro. And just immediately runs out. And I, I didn't even say a single word. And yeah. then you, yeah, I, walk, kind of I walk out, like, I walk out of the bathroom and he is like, uh, I think he was like a construction worker or something. He was like <laughs> with a lot of his other people were, and they were wearing like reflective vests, right? And uh, he's like pacing you know. back and he's like pacing back and forth. He's like, 
oh fuck dude like 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 grabbing his hair he's like like stroking his head he is like i just walked in on the most awkward moment of my entire life because he didn't i didn't say shit i was just like quiet i was in shock that he walked in like how the fuck did you get in i i thought this door was locked i'm i'm scared right now (laughs) and that's how i fucking started my sunday morning no that's that's a solid way to start it i feel like Right, so I thought that one was worthy of bringing up because I I know how you hate the bath stories. Yeah, so I thought no, that one was yeah, worthy that, that, of being brought up. That works. Um, I was gonna say it's funny you said like he must have been a construction worker. That and or they were going to rob a bank or something. Like, I mean, those are the well, only they, people that like dress like community, construction workers. Community service, maybe community service, maybe maybe. A, Why are uh, they stopping at Starbucks? <laughs> dude, it's early, bro. It's they're like I need my cup of Joe in the morning. You know, well, for community service, I don't know. I've never done it, so I've tried to stay out of trouble with the law. So I don't. I don't yeah, know. I thought that was I thought that was a really funny way to start my morning. And the thing is, right, I didn't say shit <laughs> until uh, I think that's the best part too. You were just kind of like, uh, "What the fuck, bro?" I didn't say shit until way later in the day. I was like, "Ah, oh, guys, I got something to say." <laughs> a guy actually walked in on me this morning. I gotta get this off my chest. <laughs> and then, then, and then, Mar- as soon as I said that, Marv, my new teammate, right, Marv, he goes. You know, the funny thing is, whenever I'm in a porta potty and someone goes, hello, and I go, come in. <laughs> and so I'm just like, yeah. What? Yeah, Marv would say that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, I wonder how many people actually take that, take them up on that offer. Probably not too many. I don't know. I feel like that's a, that's a sub, we'll say 25% strategy. But 25% is some. pretty high. You're going to get some. 20, 25%? That's pretty high. That's the same episode we're on, dude. What a coincidence. It's the same. Oh, shit. Maybe that was just the number on my mind. There you go. Mm. Um, <laughs> so uh, I I need to get this story. I need to hear it because all I've seen are the memes and I don't know what's going on. And Hatch apparently is our you know investigative journalist. So Expert. what the fuck is going on with this officer who decided to get run train on? <laughs> okay, so I'm this fucking officer. Her name is... Married cop Megan Hall was her fired name is married cop. <laughs> no, she's like she's a cop who is married. Right? I got you. I got you. And oh. uh, <laughs> this is the this is the caption of it. Married cop Megan who has who was fired for having trained ran on her by six male cops while on duty. And I'm just like, holy fuck, dude! Right? And so Wait, I'm just on like, looking duty? on duty. What the? Fuck? I guess I didn't so. Know that part. Right? So I'm just like, holy shit, dude! I thought it was fa- that had to be fake, right? And uh, so I'm like looking into it, looking into it. And then like the, a day later, right, a story comes out. I'm looking, I'm scrolling through Twitter and it's like her boyfriend, right? And it's her, it's like an article about her boyfriend, his like, his like whole opinion on it. And he's like, you know, we have a strong relationship. We're staying together. And I'm just like, what the fuck? That's some Yeah, shit, right, bro. <laughs> that is not me. But dude, okay. As, let me just ask you guys, what would you guys, what would you guys do if your girlfriend came home? And, and just said, how was your day? And she said, great. And after a day like that. Uh, like, dude, there's no God. way I'm staying. There's no way I'm staying. That's that's insane. Nah, fuck it, bro. Open think... relationship. Go Polly to save the relationship. Fuck it. Damn. All right, Ryan. No, okay. that's, that's not my take. <laughs> um, that's not bad. Nah. There's no working through that shit. I don't think so, dude. Like, I mean, maybe maybe therapy if it's, like, the love of your life. But, like... I don't think you're working through that, so... Yeah, the love of your life wasn't... Yeah. The love of his life wasn't the love of her life. I guess, but, uh... Dude, yeah, no, all I'm these probably cops leaving. look way different than the boyfriend, bro. All these cops look way... Are, like, ten times bigger than the boyfriend. <laughs> well, well, I, I think... I, I don't know. And maybe that article. is what's going on here. See. Maybe maybe this is some weird open relationship <laughs> type thing. And, you know, <laughs> we're just hearing it and... Oh my God! He shared the photos. I can't. I can't share that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Hold on. Why are they? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um. It's. I. I. Kind of been at a loss for my words with those on. ones. That was a good no, one. It kind of. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send you a picture of the boyfriend. All right. You gotta send, send me more. Send me more. Cause this is the, okay. Keep in mind though, that's the pictures of the the people that, that okay. she was on duty with. Okay. This is her fucking boyfriend. Is it gonna say? Oh man! Oh, what the man. like? What the fuck, dude? I would be so insecure. Yo, this dude just got cucked, bro. 
I'm telling that's you. what I'm, I'm saying, telling bro. You, that's, is... that's what just happened. That's God damn, dude. Yeah. No something, way. That's a no for me, dog. Something kind of sus was going on there, cause. Dude, Twitter is having a fucking field day with it, dude, bro. The amount there's of so memes, many media, dude, there's so many memes of like, stop. of uh, yeah, I... apparently there's a week before for riding like a fucking what is uh, the bucking bronco bull mechanical bull. I saw that. Dude, those memes are going crazy, bro. Oh <laughs> my started god. Started it all. I mean that that's how I caught wind of this. Like what? Uh, uh just all the memes. I didn't even know the story. It was just all these memes started rolling through. It was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Learning about that, and then, and then actually like having a brief description of of what happened, and then like the the memes kind of made sense at that point. But like, god damn. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, bro. I don't have a I don't have a small forehead myself, right? I don't have the smallest forehead. Don't get me wrong. But dude, you can fucking land a plane on her fucking forehead. <laughs> that's a that's a I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Head, bro. That's like <laughs> yeah, that's a. I was like, that's God damn! Four, that's a four carry the two in the thumb. <laughs> carry the two. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a big girl. Also, I would big like girl. to say rest in peace to Brandon's beautiful camera connection. It lasted us about oh, fifteen minutes. I don't know. Dude, thank why. you, bro, for fi- at least giving us fifteen minutes. But it worked. It was it was dope for fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah. Pour all the water I can ask on. For is fifteen minutes, bro. Um, that's how normal. That's how long you normally last. <laughs> We, we, we gotta ask Michelle for those hard hitting questions. I was talking in the podcast, you sicko. Wait, wait. I was talking what? average camera quality time. What? Yes. Um, yeah, but back to the six head girl. Um, I don't know, man. So, I I agree with Brandon. My my only take was like it was hella funny because I had I never saw a news article about it. I never saw anything other than the memes. And then I was like, what the fuck is this? Bro, there's no coming back from that for that guy, bro. I would just move on my entire life. That's see, that's one of the times when like you wish you lived you, in like eighteen twenty five uh, because you know what's awesome about that they would time just period. Your face. You're well, just no, your face. No, all you gotta do move about four miles that way. You have a completely different life. Nobody knows you. No one knows your past. Like it's Good everything's go. changed. You went four miles. Like, <laughs> dude, me when I play Red Dead, I'm like I put like a mask on. I like, I'm like massacring the whole fucking town, you know, giving my fucking, fucking tr- robbing the train and shit, right? And then it's like, I go to the next town over, take my mask off, new guy. <laughs> yeah, and don't even like, care. We've never seen you before. The, How are you, the sir? Cops, the, the same cops in the town over, like, howdy, mister. And I'm like, yeah. howdy. Well, that's so like, easy, I mean, hell, dude, like, you think about the bank robberies of, like, the 1920s and shit, where it's like, as long as you weren't, like, actively there as the cop showed up, you could you could do whatever the fuck you yeah, wanted. Yeah, you, you like, left. Like, dude, that and that's why criminals were famous too, because it was like, "Hey, yo, so I'm uh, I'm Bobby Blue Eyes, and uh, you know, tell the world I I took this bank, shoot their gun off, and then fucking run into the night, and then like they'd go do that ten more times that afternoon." <laughs> like, I wonder how many people would like never never even declare their name, but like got away with a robbery, right? You know, they're just like, "Let's rob a train and not say shit ever." Yeah, All right, because right? obviously people want the people want the glory. That's like some of the reason why people. You know, do some of those things for like the name, the notoriety, right? Mm-hmm. Get that in, infamy, in the news if you will, and shit like that, right? They want to be all over the newspaper, you know. I always assumed it was just like loose ends, not being cleaned up. You know? That's also a good but, point. That is you true. Know, not right. Witnesses, people. witnesses escaping. What, yeah, Brandon, why is your first thing we gotta tie up loose ends? <laughs> like, no witnesses. No, you know what that thing is? That's a smart man hey, right there. That's a exactly. smart man. <laughs> yeah, you know, I. Yeah, you guys need loose ends tied up. I know a guy. <laughs> Dude, when people know. ask me what I'm doing, I just say, tying up loose ends. And they're just like, what does that even mean? What does that mean? I you don't want to know. So. Yeah, I just say, don't worry about it. It's all Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't ask any more further questions, or you might become mm-hmm. a loose end. <laughs> Dude, don't even get me started about the, the that day and age, bro. Dude, I, I love that day and age, bro. Cowboys and six just, shooters. Just look at God, you, Hash. Damn, dude. <laughs> like... Dude, the thing is, right? We, I think we've said this before, right? It's like I was I was born in the wrong era, dude. I was supposed to be born in either the eight, like the nineteen eighties, or the eighteen eighties. You know, I got 100%. the mullet for the eight, for the nineteen eighties, and I got the mustache for the eighteen eighties. You know, and some, for cow, some reason cow. your accent's changing. <laughs> well, dude, okay, dude. All right, I'm sorry, bro. I, oh, sometimes okay. I just get I just get in my uh, my my own little red dead world, bro. And I, dude, because I role play on that game, dude. I'll throw on different accents. Yeah, I think we we've, ever, bro. I've jumped in there like one or two times with like you, Logan, 
I think there was like juice box, maybe or like one of your other friends. Dude, and he is dude, the, so fucking shout funny. out to my friend, Anthony, dude. Sometimes dude, we will role play out red dead and it is the funny we have, we come up with like our own different names. You do you remember yours, Brent? Uh, do you remember yours? Uh, Ryan PJ Wilbur. No, that no was Logan's. that's Logan. Cletus something. Something like that. Cletus McFarlane. Cletus, Cletus McFarlane. McFarlane. Yep. <laughs> yeah. See, right? You come up yeah. with this whole cowboy persona, dude. And something about it, bro, dude. It makes you feel alive, you know? What's uh so, what's yours, Hatch? Dude, mine mine is named after my best friend in real life, John Bowman. That is my cowboy role playing name. Is John Bowman. Yo, I think right. I like Logan's the best. PJ Wilbur. That's that's right. such a he good was like, like. He was like, "What do we do?" Because right, Logan's gamer tag. He's like, we always went good knew him as like pickle, pickle juice, juice. Yeah. right? So we were just like, "Damn, all right, well, pickle juice. Uh, what what? Because his character looked like a fucking pig, dude. His, his <laughs> guy looked like a pig if I've ever seen a pig man, right? And can't you, uh, like, can't you customize that? <laughs> yeah, you can. Right? So he, he just his wanted him hella pick? ugly, bro. He's, he made his character hella ugly. Right, so we like, dude, PJ for pickle juice and Wilbur because he looks like a pig, right? And we just call him PJ Wilbur, Perfect. you know. And then uh, my best friend Juicebox is uh, another one of his. His is Massimo Stallion, dude, the Italian Massimo gunslinger, bro. Stallion. That one is I will never forget that one. Massimo that's, Stallion. Uh, we got my other friend Steven Cedric that's a name, Smith, brother. God damn, dude. Yeah, how Something many about hours that. have you spent in Red Dead, would you say? Dude, too many, considering that game is a piece of shit, realistically. It's right? Red Dead 2, it was okay. It's so dead. It wasn't it's amazing, so though. dead. The campaign? Dude, 10 out of 10 the campaign would recommend. Was great. But, like, the online, like that, no one really... Online, dude, it's so neglected, bro, because they're like, why, why invest any money into Red Dead when we can invest it into a bunch of fucking 10-year-olds that are playing GTA? Yeah, right? make a billion dollars a year. Exactly, right? Because they're, they're just making Three so much years. more. Because you can just do so much more in the future, right? You you can't put a fucking flying jet bike shooting rockets in Red Dead. It'd fuck up the whole ecosystem. I mean, you could. Right? You could, but it would mess everything up. <laughs> For sure. Right? Sure. <laughs> so it's like, ah, Red Dead is just so limiting, and that's only because of the time that it's in, sadly. Yeah. Like, uh, but, I mean, you love that time period, so go enjoy why, earning so, your 15 so cents every time you bring in an animal skin or dude, something. Oh, I got to make sure. Dude, every single uh, bounty that I take, I loot their body. Got to make sure, bro. That 15 cents, 20 cents dude, matters. It's, it's extra, you know? It's, it's cash in the bank. You know, these bullets don't pay for themselves, That's cowboy. called passive income, you know? Mm, what can I say? <laughs> Yo, other video game news. We'll jump into it. So you guys have been playing through The Forest. I don't know if anyone out there listening has, has heard of this game, but uh, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. Do you got an update for us? Dude, so basically, so we have a perimeter, and I, we've done a little bit of research on the game itself and kind of how the game works, mm. right? So we have set up a fortress on, like, the beach, right? Okay. And I, we didn't know this at the time, right? Because we, we went into it completely blind, right? There's, like, a patrol route of, like, the cannibals on the beach, and they yeah, all yeah. walk on the beach, right? We had no idea. So, dude, every day is a fucking war bro so you guys get attacked every yeah, single day every single day it's like dude we gotta go to sleep or we're fucking dead <laughs> that's fucking hilarious because it's like you think about that like you know you guys were surviving on that island like in real life every single like morning you just wake up all right guys we're gonna we're gonna go to battle <laughs> we're gonna try yep, to and survive it, and you just do that out, every day we'd go out and adventure and we'd come back and they would be just the curious little cats bro just walking around our base <laughs> Whacking our walls, you know. We got be the chilling CDs there, on them food. and shit. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I We'd know. be chilling, cooking our food, and they would just w run up and whack our wall once and just run away. It's like these <laughs> fuckers, dude. The they AI just want to so like good. fuck with you. Okay, yeah. That I was. That's what I was gonna ask if it was like an NPC or or, or those other players. Um, no, dude. They're just like random NPC cannibals, but they're smart, bro. Hmm. They're smart in a way, right? Because let me tell you, AK, bro, that motherfucker gets. That guy is the master baited if i if you will that guy gets baited like a like a motherfucker the master he, at getting baited okay exactly right so he will run he like he, his famous phrase bro his famous last words will say yo let me get my 1v1 let me get my 1v1 dude he would get fucking clapped every single time dude because right he's he lives in he lives in the sticks right he got he ain't got, got no that good star internet, link bro like right? he, and the thing is, the Starlink sucks, right? When it's supposed to be good, right? So it's I mean, okay. It's better than nothing, but yeah. He's playing at a solid 120 ping usually, right? Jesus that's pretty Jesus. high, bro. Right? So he's just getting <laughs> That's pretty high for playing around. on a server that's like 
in NA West. Like, meanwhile, yeah, like, even, ours is, like, 30 or 40, maybe. And we were playing, right? We even got and hooked it up to a designated server. Sick, right? okay. So, so pretty lit, right? Dude. He, so now he, AK is actually more of an expert than I am now because I took, like, a two-day break from it, right? And he was like, dude, let me show you Katana Cave. And I'm like, okay. Katana so Cave. we're going down, dude. Bro, that shit's crazy, bro. Yep. I know nothing about that game compared to them. Oh, and for sure. They are you have to, like, go sh- gather all the different, like, parts and resources to, like, kind of level up your character. Like, all the different yeah. weapons, the the climbing the axe, gear. like, the scuba gear. Yeah, things like that. <clears throat> And then, uh, yeah, and then eventually you use all that to get to the boss. I don't, I know, did you say he did it? I don't know if AK and Logan. Oh, and one of, yeah, yeah, yeah. We So I sat, I was actually at Paintball when the day that the whole server went and did like the whole boss fight, right? Oh, shit. Loki salty, but it didn't it's put insane. it in, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm, so I'm almost like, what does it look like? Now I got to look it up. And I got to look You're it up. You got to like watch it, patch, to, yeah. watch it, please. Cause it'll, it'll trip your mind out. It's, it's insane. <laughs> I don't even know the whole story of it, right? Because it's like, you know, you, the whole the plane crashes, you're supposed to rescue little Timmy. Dude, I said, fuck little Timmy. Let's build a base. Bro. Let's build a home. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to stay here a while. Yeah. You know, let's make no, it comfy. That's pretty much all you need to know. You know, you know, you, you crash and you got to save little Timmy. That's, if you know that, then you're good. You'll, you'll learn everything else pretty much as you go through that. That seems last to be the gist of thing. it. Yeah. Plane crash, save Timmy. That's like summarize the forest. Cannibals. <laughs> well, Boom. That Great keyword. You think you just summarized the forest, but you didn't. That's the thing. <laughs> okay. That's you a, that's you gotta watch the final. You gotta is, watch the final. It's, it's I'm going to. I'm it's going really, to. It's really, yeah. Anyone out there, if you're not gonna play this game, just go like look up a YouTuber playing it because it's it's creepy. It's creepy as shit. Dude. Okay. So one thing. One thing I want to talk about now. All right. Can we move on to practice? How practice was? On yeah. We can, we can talk about practice. Okay. Cool. Dude. Bruh. I get there. It is freezing. It is it so super cold. wet, like, and it is like not raining hard, but some decent drops, right, bro? I look out at the field. It is, dude. There is a little bit of water everywhere, right? There is no dry spot on the field. It's just right? so, puddled, kind of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're yeah. getting re- we're getting ready, right, dude? I am vibrating violently. I'm so cold, dude. My shivers went into overdrive, right? And uh, so we're getting ready, getting ready. They're like blowing it up and all that. And like, to be okay, let me just say shout out to some of the D4 guys, Aaron and Cameron. Shout out to those guys because, dude, those guys really took the initiative. And Jaws and Bills, that guy definitely took the initiative to uh, blow up the field and like push some of the water with some of those like push rake thingies, you know? What I'm yeah, try about? to like help it so, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. That, those guys definitely made it way more playable. Good but shit. you ready for this shit? We didn't even play on that field. We didn't <laughs> oh, even play on fuck. that field. Right. So there were tryouts on that field a little bit in the morning and then it, later in the later in the afternoon, morning ish, we got to uh go to the other field and play, which was like the World Cup layout. And to be fair, Brando, correct me, I okay, let me just say, this is for sure a thing that at least I was playing it the layout, because it was the World Cup layout. Yeah. I was playing it as if we were like at World Cup trying to uh not do the some of the moves that I was able to get away with at practice, but some of the stuff that I was trying to do like at the tournament, right? Mm. You couldn't it, do anything near like what you could at practice. Yeah, it, it kind of like devolved in, into um, how we were breaking out at World Cup, actually. Mm. Uh, like the first couple points, we were trying to go out wide or whatever, but it, it, it slowly, we narrowed it down to literally our basic breakout that we just kept doing at World Cup, and it just kept working again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's essentially the same breakout that that fucking, like, Damage and Dynasty were doing in the finals. Like, it, you know, just the pocket. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we didn't diverge really uh, uh, very far from actual the actual event. And the thing is, at Cup, I fucking sucked, right? So, <laughs> Micah was playing that shit super well, right? So, I was, like, trying to play it, like, the way how I was watching Micah play it, mm-hmm. right? Way slower. Like, dude, at Brando, every single one of our points... Five minutes or longer. Oh my god! Long points, dude. I was walking was, out with ten pods. <laughs> yeah, literally. And it was like, and I'm just like chilling, 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 dude. And my, the drain is literally dripping off of my Master Chief visor. That's how hard it is raining, right? And I, w- uh, I will say, it it, it does look kind of cool. You're just sitting there and you just wa- you're watching it drip from both sides, from both corners. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know you know i i wish we could actually see what you're trying to show <laughs> like is it as bad for you as it is for me hatch the thing is right 
at least he's there. It no, like, you know, we got audio. Our boy's here. We got to get you that damn computer, bro. <laughs> one day, Brando. One day, dude. One day. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. And then we, we got to go. get there you a go. mic next to Oh, my God. That's You're like one big pixel now. <laughs> one ginormous minecraft block pretty much um but yeah so it was rainy miserable sounds like it um God, it was, God, but it was man. a lot of fun though uh oh let me tell you brando and micah fucked me over bro let yep. me just say so, this wasn't by choice not by choice right so we're, we're, we're we break out right the points go right like i said right five minutes at least every single point right and it's it's raining pretty hard uh i am playing we lose paul and then we lose cedar right mm -hmm. so then it's just me brando and micah left three on five right for sure and uh brando goes hatch i'm drunk and i'm like oh shit <laughs> right so then i'm in like the little mini w if you guys know the world cup layout was, that little mini w on the well, Dorito side also to explain what drunk is i mean yes and that 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 is our call for which we're going to change now uh that's the call for hey my gun's down my gun ain't working can't fucking shoot Mm. right that's the call for that and uh i just want to say he like, wasn't actually drunk like on the field. no he was not actually <laughs> drunk he was he was very much he was painfully sober in that moment kind of <laughs> yeah right and so i'm like oh shit so i'm i look over i'm like i'm like micah brando's drunk and then all i hear is his lv2 right because it's wet right he probably got water in his bolt it's like and i'm like oh fuck and he's like hatch i'm drunk <laughs> And I'm the only guy with a working gun, <laughs> dude. Jesus. So now it's we're a both, one on, it's a one on five. On. Right? We're both calling Hatch. You know, Hatch, look this way, and Mike is yep. like, no, Hatch, look this way. <laughs> dude, I, I, I am like, no joke. I am hitting him with the AK. Kentucky lefty, bro, going hard, going back, going hard, going back, right, going, going cr absolutely crazy, bro. And that was in the first like minute of the point. So, dude, I myself am drawing this point out like a motherfucker. This point is being drawn out like an extra two minutes. And I'm just like, dude, how are they not coming in? And then all of a sudden I hear Brando go, snake, snake. I'm like, oh my God, I am dead. So I'm like playing as tight as I possibly can. I'm like almost on like the Dorito side of it. And then I look back and then they catch one ball right to the back of the head. And I'm just like, bruh. And then, then they're just like, Brando's like, uh, sitting there. Brando is looking so silly, dude. Not even gonna lie. Double, double knee cheeked up, dude. Yes, I got the Jurassic Park jammies on. Double cheek. Damn, dude. That's no hard. loader. No loader. He's like, he's like, I'm drunk, Micah. I'm drunk. Micah, I'm drunk. And then Micah's just like, no, I'm drunk. <laughs> and Micah is shooting. Like, they're both shooting one ball. And that is it. And they are stalling out this at now two on five. I think I shot a guy. Maybe four on. Yeah. Maybe four yeah. on. It, it was four. Four on I think two. I shot a guy in four on, four on two, right? Four on zero, basically. <laughs> yeah. And then, dude. They're, they're one balling drew the match out for probably another 60, 65 seconds. It was like, a long dude, time. That's kind of impressive. Yeah, yeah. Long time, dude. I don't don't know why they weren't just marching down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what like, I was saying, dude. Just, just come kill like, me already, damn it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Think, I'm pissed. I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm like, Brando, fuck you, motherfucker. Why did you why did you let your gun break? How dare you fix let your gun, gun break? Micah, How dare fix you let your gun. gun break into it? Yeah. <clears throat> Real quick, let, let me... <laughs> Let me touch on that. So that was the second point that we played. The first point, during the first point, I just thought I had a couple fat balls. Like I'm, I'm force feeding my my loader. You know, I'm hitting the uh, uh, force feed button on my spire uh, to feed balls. Mm -hmm. uh, we come in to after feed that in point. More balls. Yeah, and <laughs> little Noah comes walking up and he's like, "Hey, my loader's not working. It's barely spinning." I'm like, "Oh, here, change your batteries." And I change his batteries real quick, and it works for him. Then we go out for that second point. Oh um, man, you know that shit went down. I drunk my guns down. Whatever. No way. Come to, come to find out, it was just my batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just bro. I so, you, so instead of changing yours, you changed Noah's. You helped Noah. All yeah. right. Oh, you yeah. fuck. And then that leaves Hatch to get set up. So you <laughs> you care more about Noah than Hatch. That's what I just learned. What's Micah's excuse, bro? What's Micah's excuse? My, uh, he just he gets a new gun every. He, he he's he changing gun gun every, every day. He really he really does, yeah. dude. Somehow gets like you, a Project G to an LV2. I think he's just indecisive. You, like he flips them. It's not like he has all of them, but it's like, eh, do I want that? Do I want that? Just keep he's a whore, bro. <laughs> we got a lot of gun whores in the camp, bro. Yo, speaking of, uh, you guys got to shoot a dragon, Timmy. You guys were telling me about. Someone had one out at. Yeah, uh... dude. So I am really bad with names, so please forgive me. I forgot his name. 
but um he was like yo he was like yo steven i heard you never shot a timmy on the podcast and i was like what are you serious right and dude let me tell you that shit was ripping yeah i was i was no joke going like 25 balls a second it was like it was so easy i was barely touching it and it yeah. was mm-hmm. flying super right? debounce trigger just fucking so, yeah ripping. And, then, and then brando you got to shoot it so you'd for sure know it was going it was ripping yeah, it, it did shoot really nice. Like, I yeah, I, I don't remember his name either. He's been at the field consistently uh, the past, like, four or five months. Um, but he, he's, like, an older player. He was around Bob Long and the Assassins, I think. He obviously um, has a Timmy. Yeah, yeah. Wait. But, yeah, it was sweet. Hmm. You, you pro- If you saw him, Ryan, you'd probably know. Maybe, yeah. Um, yeah, he's playing with, uh, I think, Family now. DMG Family, maybe. Sick. Okay. Um. Yeah, I always I think get those so. teams mixed up. Yeah, the no, family, I, the I, the DMC but it was so. Hey, hey, obviously, you listen to the podcast, so sorry, bro. But you know we're talking about you. Um, so obviously, you know who for, you are. I thanks for letting so much, these bro. guys get a get a chance to rock the the Timmy a little Touch bit. Touch some paintball history, seriously. Yeah, yeah. such Amazing. fun guns. Thank you, seriously. Dude. Brought back, brought back the memory. Um, I've never shot one, so I wouldn't know. Brought back, brought back the memory. memory. Yeah. It made one. <laughs> you, you made one. Hell yeah um one last story that i think we had from tryouts apparently someone was talking shit hatch yeah dude okay so and the thing is right i'm, I'm i have, gonna talk, I have no clue this, where this right? goes by the way so i'm sitting on the edge of my seat just like you guys are as well <laughs> right so as everybody knows right we were just bumped up to the semi-pro the semi-pro line and uh so it's it's weird right usually we've been calling ourselves like d3 forever right you know yo d3 get ready mm-hmm. right every time i practice Right, so now it's like, hey, semi-pro, get ready. It it sound it sounds so foreign out of my lips. I didn't even say it; I heard it, right. So it it sounded so different, right? Almost like a took me for a trip for a second, right? And so I'm like, all right, let's get ready, right? And then I hear one kid in the pit who is trying out. He is trying out for for DMG for one of the squads, and he goes, "They're only semi-pro because everybody else left." And I'm like damn all right buddy right so the, so in my in my mind i'm thinking okay sure he's right we'll, we'll take it as he's right i cannot wait to prove him wrong i cannot That's wait to point. prove him wrong yeah right gotta go back it right? up now exactly right so that's my goal right is to back it up because he can talk all his shit he wants who cares mm. i know that it's like me and me and Brando both know this is gonna be a fucking fight. There is no easy matches, right? So there's yeah. some matches in fucking D three, D four where you know you go into the tournament and you're like, okay, that is our easiest match, right? It's kind of a Tell must me win, but yeah, yes, like a no. must win where it's like that match. Okay, say you're playing. Okay, let me just say, let me make a comparison to yes. pro. Pick on a team right now. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. You're playing. I'm gonna make it a pro, so it sounds less. Oh, we're playing Dynasty, but then we play the Latin Saints. You right? Yeah. Two completely different. One team you're really supposed in in a pro on paper. You, on paper that you're supposed oh, there we to go. beat that team. Yeah, yeah. On yeah. paper you're that supposed to beat matchup. that team. Right. That kind yeah. of matchup. Right. Mm-hmm. Semi pro. There are none. There are none of those. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, it's Every it's a small division. So good. It's it's. And it's a talent that used to play pro back in the day maybe has stepped down now and they're playing there um i mean shit we got that ology team we have um i'm trying to think uh distortion isn't it distortion isn't yeah. it distortion their team is fucking stacked i feel like um, those guys are all old it, trade my gun guys i'm pretty sure yeah uh i'm trying to think like, like we, we gotta go out there teams. And, we gotta go out there and prove that we're we're meant to be on that field Right. And the thing is, exactly. That's what I, that's what I cannot wait for. Right. I cannot Mm -hmm. wait to give my shot to where it's like, right. And the thing is, I know this shit ain't going to happen overnight. The struggle is going to be so fucking real at practice. Right. Dude, it's going to be a struggle. Every point is going to be a struggle to win. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it's semi pro. Right. Dude, we are one step closer to literally achieving our dreams. Right. I've been, dude, I've been grinding to become pro so long. Right. Brando, I assume he's been the same. Right. Dude, he, he's, he was bred. Through, through the, this through is blood and iron literally of the his Iron Man. birthright, <laughs> like <laughs> so. In my mind, I'm just thinking, talk your shit, buddy. Talk your shit, right? 
It's Say all it was come chest. Back. It's all going to come back. It's there's a reason why he said it under his breath. Yeah. No, I mean, that's a good why. point. I think, um, yeah, semi-pro, it's definitely, it's it's just a different, like, it, it, it is a step up. Like, it's I, a different I, beast, right? I don't know how to say it correctly because it's like, yeah, it's still not the perfect form of paintball, but if yeah. you're playing divisional paintball, it's damn good paintball. Like, it's exactly it's hard ass matches. Like, it's and one thing and one thing I want to say, right? Like, look at PB Fit that when they were AC Dallas and all those guys, all the AC Dallas guys left, and all those like, uh, was it PB Fit? Was that what they were, when they yeah, were going yeah. up to divisions, yeah, yeah. right? So all those PB Fit guys got bumped up to AC Dallas, right? And in pro, like they were the easy match in pro, right? Mm -hmm. the, like they were on paper the weakest team, right? Yeah, they got relegated, right? And then look at them in semi-pro. They are dominating. They are killing it constantly in the fight. They have such good attackers. And that's like, like Colt LeCount, that guy does not miss. That guy's good. No, yeah. No, I, I, Chavez, I really like Colt. Um, and, and I think that really does go just go to show like your, you know, the point the of like in competition. Yeah, like in pro, you may be the easiest team, but at the same time, like in you're semi -pro, a damn, you are the hardest team. Well, it's not even in semi pro, but you're a damn good paintball team. It's just that you're Straight not up. one of the top 20. Like, that's really all it is. Like, you can, you know, DMG was not a horrible paintball team, but, you know, they're also playing the other 19 best teams in the world. Exactly. So it's like, you have to be better than that. And if you're not, you, you get kicked out. <laughs> right. And it makes sense, right? It's, dude, it's the order of the world, bro. You know, if you don't fit it, if you don't get in where you fit in, right? And at that yeah. point, you just don't fit in right there, right? And that now it's another team shot, like Notorious. It's their, it's their shot. Mm -hmm. right so like you know i'm just trying to chase my dream you know make an make an austin notorious story you know what i'm saying yeah Come back you know oh I, I see what you're saying i was like uh i didn't know exactly that was going um yeah well you know, and, and then i had another question sorry brandon i'll let you go in a second um mm -hmm. do we know what tyler is doing this next year i just haven't heard anything about him uh, we're talking about our tyler right yeah Ty tyler yeah t uh t t pain t t pain um, okay, so I don't want I'm not gonna dox his ass or anything, right? So uh I know that his job is very, very demanding, right? And yeah. what his line of work is gonna be very, very demanding, mm -hmm. right? So I think he is uh getting all set up for that from what I from my knowledge and from what okay. I have heard. I think he's trying to get him up himself all set up to where right he he wants to live he wants to live his life without worry, bro. You yeah. Know? No, I feel that and I, I think I heard something similar a little bit ago, so I just I didn't know if that was what he was gonna do. So Damn, that, that saddens me a little bit, but he's going to go be a big boy, put his big boy car hearts on. He'll be back. <laughs> they all come back. Uh, Brandon, what, yeah. what were you going to say, brother? I want to play with him. Um, yeah, just, just playing over the weekend, because we were running points against the our new D3 and, and the D4 lines. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, just, just playing against them uh, after I got home, just running through the, the points over in my head, talking to Michelle, like breaking it down. And it's like, oh man, it's like I wanna, I should have, I wanna give them insight, like of of, of what they could have done differently, at least against us, you know, um, just just little things that that I've learned just in, in this past year of being within the camp, playing with and against the pro guys, you know, mm -hmm. um, just how quick the, that decision making has to be. Uh, literally without thinking about it like yeah, as soon as you it's muscle memory it's not thought yeah exactly yeah i mean it, even down to just as soon as they get dominance over me if they're able to move just just move it's, yeah, it's just... like how can i take some more ground or give myself a better advantage mm -hmm. yeah right Cause yeah because if you don't instantly react like that you're kind of that that dude, if you don't instantly react like that that's not semi-pro yeah, well, yeah, not I, even semi-pro, but... What I, semi pro material. Yeah, I guess what I was going to say is, like, you know, in pro paintball, it, it really is chess in a way, and it's like mm. both teams do have their turns, but it's like if you miss your turn, you don't get that turn. So it's like if you see yeah. them make a move, you have to react and make your move to either counter that or go neutralize it, and if you don't, well, then they're going to feast off that. So mm -hmm. it's, it's such a, you know tit tat tit tat like stuff that has to be happening um yeah at just yeah paces that you're like what the fuck just happened and that's why yeah, i think in pro you'll have those moments where like some you know it'll be stalemate stalemate we're just burning pods burning pods burning yep. pods and then all of a sudden like uh you know one guy gets clipped out and then the point's over in five seconds and it's like 
what the fuck just, just happened collapses. and it's yeah, like you, that's how a lot of the points that's how a lot of the points were right because let me tell you there, it's like i'm gonna say it now there's like an unseen tension in the camp right now right because it's like people some people think like some people you know they don't want to lose to us right like and we don't want to lose to them, right? If we're the new top dog, right? I hate saying that term, right? But it's like... Well, just to um, relate it back to you, how did you guys feel whenever you played pro? You wanted to beat them. Exactly, right? Yeah. We are the guys to beat at practice, right? And But like the thing is, right, that's where the mindset gets bad, right? Because you do when you, when you want to win practice so bad, you're just going to end up getting shit on. Yeah. Right? Do... And, I mean... What's up? You may not be ans- able to answer this question, so I, I get it. Um, is Impact still going to be flying out for one of their weekends, or? Okay, I'm gonna answer this. Okay. Yeah. I don't please. know if I, I don't know if I should, but uh, <laughs> I'll answer it. Anyway. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> so, uh, I heard that they might be traveling. Right. So, in my mind, we have to show Dave that we are a good contender. Right, that mm-hmm. we are a good reason to bring dynasty and impact, and everybody's still back out here, mm-hmm. right? Or at least well, like, just... yeah, like it, it makes sense for impact to come here because you know they'll get a good at least look. Like it's not a like a wasted look. weekend. Yeah, exactly. Right, and uh, until we do that, right, it makes sense. Right, they're it's a business. Right, they're a sport. Right, yeah. they want to play uh, the best teams and practice against the best teams, become the best team. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. So well, we, got, we got stuff to prove. We got weight on our shoulders. And then I guess out. so. We haven't talked about this on the show yet, and, and well, I guess because it did just come out recently. But have you guys seen the announcement of there's only going to be one layout weekend now? Yeah, I like that. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm indifferent about it. Um, I will say, like the the first weekend of the layouts last year, I didn't feel the best uh, until the second weekend came out. Came out and we played. It was like, all right, cool, like. We got everything settled. Like I, I feel much better about that. You know, whatever. I, you know, now we just gotta do it all in one weekend. Which again, I'm, I'm fine with. Um, a little indifferent about it. I could have mm-hmm. gone either way for me. Um, yeah, I, I, actually, with that, I haven't even brought asked the anyone in the on the squad. But are we gonna? I wonder if we're gonna shoot for. I don't know. Is it possible to practice Friday, Saturday, Sunday, on the on the layout? I mean, that's like the fucking goal, right? That would yeah. be sick. I I did hear, and it was kind of a, it was a very good point. Um, it was Tyler Harmon who brought it up on Play the Game when they were talking to Tom Cole about this. It does kind of force paintball field owners to now want to invest in some lighting equipment and to be able to offer paintball Nightfall. at times, you know, during the week, after school, after work, like when, you know, because there's now seven days, you know, from when the layout drops to when you're pretty much going to the event. So maybe, yeah, if you can get Thursday night and maybe go play two of the weekends or, you know, or two of the days on the weekend, um, something like that. Another question, are you guys still going to practice that weekend before? Fuck yeah. Are we not? Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to be, pra- yeah. I think, I think legitimately, like, let me tell you, dude, uh, you got to be practicing every weekend. For sure. Right. Well, and it's now it's at the point. To where you have to or you're you're getting behind no i i agree i was kind of baiting you into something there but it's it's funny that you say that because um that's you know that was marcelo and tyler's point too is like okay well you took away a practice weekend on the layout we're, we're still gonna practice like yeah, we're, I, I, yeah. like maybe well, dynasty may not because like okay what they're how much better are they gonna get at running and gunning and you know little stuff like that now don't get me wrong there's certainly people on that team who go out who drill who do shit but they may not do like a everyone needs to come together to you know practice that all together um but you know for a team like you guys maybe that is advantageous to you know to get out there and take advantage of that maybe a team you know like a, a lower you know an ml kings uh you know um you know, I'm trying to think of another kind of mid-tier, you know, an LVL. Maybe that really helps them out this year. They're able to get together more than other more mm-hmm. than other teams and kind of put in the time or the work. I've actually seen a lot of people be able to play like during the week and like and uh, like night ball. I, obviously, everybody from PB Fit, right? They mm-hmm. they do night ball, right? That's fucking sick. Jealous. Yeah. And I think Fuck that's the standard. Whatever. I, th- dude, paintball in the dark I'm, I'm is jealous. just I'm more jealous. fun. It is. I'm jealous. I'm like, I, I'm jealous. I'm saying it out loud. Yeah. No, we'll get you I, down. I wish we shit. had that. That's that's the goal, I, brother. Dude, I've been talking. I've been talking to my boy Lastrum. What's up, baby? Dude, yep. I, that's who I'm trying to go see, bro. Down, yeah. down at PB. Fit, and, uh, so, well, 
you know the the NXL uh, isn't it in Austin this year or? Yes. Their Texas right? event. No. Or, yeah, Austin or Dallas. Or it's like around that area. <laughs> One at least. of them. Well, all I'm going to say mm-hmm. is Lazaro Lopez has confirmed he will be at the NXL uh, Lone Star State Open or whatever they're calling it this year. So we will see you out there uh, down to make content with the man. Um, and apparently he's going to have some hard as fuck seltzer on him. So we will all have to try that because it's, it's 8% seltzer and it's good as fuck from what I've heard. Um, so yeah, Lone Star, yeah. Yeah, Round Lone Star Rock, Open. Texas. Round Rock, Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's ominous. It's like around Austin, like maybe an hour or so. Around or something like that. We'll have to we'll have to figure out flights, boys. <laughs> dude, maybe we should fucking ride the train, bro. Is that is that the train? Is one? there a train to Texas? Is that the train um, one? Dude, on, if there look okay, look it up. We may confirm this on the show because now we don't I know, know about there's the a Chicago train to Texas. One. That's how my grandma gets around. Damn. Well, and maybe that'll be not as long as the Chicago one, so maybe it'll be worth it. But uh, yeah, so that. Train ride to Texas. If you guys don't know about this, the the goal this year is we want to take a train to one of the events. Um, we're going to fly home because fuck that. But uh, we just think it would be a dope way to kind of make some content and have a really fucking crazy story of trying to get to an event and taking three days to do so. Um, but, yeah. Uh, are you are you looking it up? Do we got any trains? We got trains? We do got some trains. We do got we some got trains. Some trains. Uh, <laughs> all right. So it'll say – so there are trains. It said it would be about like thirty-five hours, ten minutes, right? Like that's not that bad. One hundred and fifty to two twenty. Because so like that's not bad. Isn't at all. Chicago like two and a half days? Yeah. Yeah. So okay, I could I could do a day wow. and what a was little it? bit. Chicago longer. was Chicago was fifty-two hours of like travel, right? Yeah, Pretty sure dude. It was fifty-two hours. That's oh, that's two and a half days. <laughs> I'm just Jesus. trying to find, I'm just trying to find a goddamn. Uh, so okay, well maybe Texas, maybe that's the one we'll do. I'm definitely flying home because fuck that. But Brandon, if if this happens, you you realize you have to come. <sighs> dude, I mean I'm down. I just gotta see if I can rework my contract for work. Oh well, you know we you can, mad, we could you know we what we can have one of those there. things where uh, maybe where we, we get you a you sick on, like, a segue. <laughs> you know, I imagine we get him like the iPad on a Segway, which is like following us around a little bit on a robot. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> I don't want it yeah. just to be me and Hatch, though. I feel like that just that's just me and okay, Hatch. Okay, let me tell misery. you one thing. That is pretty sure, much the doubt, survival trip. Like, <laughs> let me tell you without a doubt, Cedar is in. I can Cedar's in. You, Cedar well, is Cedar in. loves like, trains, right? Cedar's like, in. Cedar's a huge train man. Dude, let me tell you, dude. Me and Cedar, dude, we are traveling companions. Dude, <laughs> that's sick. we have a we have a system, dude, that just works. No, right we never get that. lost right and it's like a trust that we have in each other right and uh it's always nice because like we can always rely on each other right he's always like yo make sure this shit's done i'm like yo you got it papa <laughs> it's that easy yeah no i feel it's, that it's there was system. uh when i was working the production job and we were flying a lot there was a couple guys who like yeah like i just traveled with so much so you're like yep you do this i'll do this boom boom mm-hmm. boom and like it just makes it a lot Quick better system definitely man so okay well <laughs> Exciting news. I think that'd be sick, we got, dude. we got a train ride coming up with the future boys. Hell yeah. Yeehaw. Um, <laughs> God damn it. So, okay. Do you, do you guys do you want to move on to that would you rather? I got a good would you rather. I'm going to I'm gonna stop you before we do uh, that because we're going to go right, to right. iconic nominees. Um, okay, we haven't okay, talked okay, about, that about that yet. That um, so, yeah. So, iconic paintball. Uh, we announced it last week on the show that we were um, – I. It's kind of weird because they mentioned me as the nominee, but they also mentioned from the sidelines as part of the nomination. So, um, you know, this podcast plus the other kind of content and stuff I produce, um, we were nominated for Creator of the Year, which is awesome. Uh, but we also wanted to go through and talk about some of their other awards because um, they do a lot of different stuff, not just for, you know, off the field type stuff, but they do, um, you know, on the field players, icon of the year, offensive player of the year, stuff like that. Um, and they have some team Look awards right this now. year as well. Um, I have the post up on my ends. I was just going to go through it. I honestly just pulled up his, uh, you know, Instagram post. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this has got all of them on here. Um, I guess we can just go through it. I mean, so starting off with the, do we, do, do we want to start top or do we want to start bottom? Start from the bottom, bottom bro. Bottom? Start from the bottom, all right, all right, dude. Just like, just like my paintball career, bro. Okay. Start so coach the of the bottom, year. Here. We'll start there. And then we'll, so this is the player individual awards. I see um, it. So for the 2022 Iconic Awards Coach of the Years, the nominees were Kevin. Uh, I don't even know how to say Kevin's last name. Kevin Bredauer. 
Fred Tower, something like that. Uh, Joey Blue, uh, with Tampa Bay's coach, uh, Dave Baines. That's a familiar name around these parts. Uh, Mike Bianca, and then Brad McCurley. Um, He's the coach of the heroines, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and then Mike Bianca yeah. is... Is that uh, LBL's coach? Uh, no, 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 uh, Hurricanes. Hurricanes. Hurricanes, coach. Hurricanes, okay. gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, so Dynasty's coach, uh, Tampa Bay Damage. Damage impact all those make sense and then uh hurricanes and um the heroines okay perfect all right and then uh flex player of the year so i'm thinking what they went with this one is just kind of like that that like insert role where it's like okay i can go play this i can go do this i can go down the snake both sides of the field you know both sides of the field you know maybe they'll go up the middle and then fill out somewhere or something like that um so we got to plug in the hole yeah, yeah, all and a list of pretty solid ass names here. So we got Ryan Greenspan, uh, Brian Smith, Stephen O'Mara, Rainey Stanzak, and Connor Kelly. Um, shout out to Connor Kelly. Uh, he ghosted us last week, so that's why we didn't have a guest. Um, so thanks, buddy. <laughs> Hope you can uh, answer that text at some point, and we could have you on the show because I was looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, uh, all right, moving on. The WNXL Player of the Year nominees. Uh, we got Rose McCurley, uh, Brittany Vang, which actually that's uh, that's Benny Challenger's um, girlfriend. So shout out to them. Uh, Ben's Ben's awesome. Uh, on Okay, that's a that's a name that took me the for Blanc, a loop the Blanco there. sisters. The the Blanco, Blanco sisters, because <laughs> um, I'm gonna and butcher Jen their Folk. names, and then Jen Folk is the last one. So that's them. Whoa, I don't know. Uh, mine has a six. Yours has a six. Michelle Sanchez. Oh, oh okay. Oh. That's, that's my vote. That's my vote that's, as well. That's, yeah, agree. no, my vote as well. Oh, that's my vote. <laughs> um, I, I, I write in my vote, actually. Hey, y- this makes sense. Hatch, you're a Dorito boy. Why don't you tell us through the Doritos, of the, the Dorito player of the year? All right, so the Dorito players of the years, we got uh, Chris Shear, Sam Sil- Silberg. Is that, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, right? Then we got Konstantin mm-hmm. Fedorov, Dalton Vanderbilt, the guy that Brando would like to play with, and then LJ Parrish from San Antonio X Factor. Dude. These these player of the year things are just so stacked. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's it's so cool how you see those contestants are just insanely good God. paintball players. <laughs> like, you see a lot of crazy. people on multiple ones for sure. For sure, um, there is overlap, and it. I mean, it makes sense. You know, the kind of superstars. They're overall good players. Sport. Yeah. Uh, all right, moving on. Next breakout player of the year. Maybe. Hey, Brandon, you want to take that one? I don't know. Are you caught up with yeah, this? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, uh, breakout player of the year. We got Connor Kelly again, mm-hmm. uh, Jared Lackey, uh, Jen Folk, uh, Andrew Bell, and Kyle Nicolau. Which did he play on the Hurricanes too? Or... No, he plays on the no, Ironman. He on the Ironman. He played yeah, on the right. Hurricane. He played on New England New, Hurricanes. New that's England. What the, or, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he played on New England, England Hurricanes yeah. before they folded. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. I yeah. like that guy. That guy's a fucking beast. I like that guy. Yeah. No, Kyle's. Kyle's pretty bad. Um, I mean, I I agree with most of those names. Jared, I think, did a really good job this year stepping up from NRG, uh, going over to Tampa Bay Damage. Um, I mean, Jen just kind of talks for herself. She's a, she's a badass paintball player, man. Um, she's making strides for she, what for like uh, for for women in paintball. She really she's is making um, strides, making making so many people aware of the WNXL yeah and 100 percent shout out to jen i know she just started a vlogging series so like you know the little things like that that kind of help show like hey maybe there's going to be some you know 12 year old girl out there who's like damn like she's cool and she plays paintball maybe that's something i want to do like hey that's that's how that type of shit starts so it's like you know shout out to jen all the stuff she's doing to try and like help kind of grow the women and you know that kind of side of the tournament paintball so yeah uh snake player of the year we got mike zupa chad george archie montemayor billy bernaccia and keith brown i mean that's just an Where's all-star mike lineup <laughs> mike didn't mike, play, mike didn't play the snake much this year man that actually does Whatever. tell me how much footage you watch because I filmed every game and I could tell you he really didn't. He was down the middle sometimes. They you, had him on the Doritos. It was just Doritos fucked me over, bro. 
Oh, what what did GoSports do to you? What? Dude, I don't even know what the fuck happened, bro. I fucking signed into my account, and they're like, oh, your account has never been found. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Your account has but never whatever. been found? Okay. Whatever. Um, <laughs> all right. I, so I that was... you, you should ask Bart. You should ask Bart at one of the practices about this. Yeah, bring yeah. it up to him. Be like, yo, Bart, my account doesn't work. Yeah, what are you, 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 you going to do about that? What are you going to do You want my that? hockey stick just in case? I got you. Yeah, I do. Yeah, the, I do. the Mike Conway. And the Mighty Ducks jersey, yep. just, so he knows, just so he knows I'm serious. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Offensive Player of the Year, uh, Chad Boussier. Or... Boussier? Chad Boussier? Is that how you pronounce it? I know it's something different. It's not like how it looks. Oh, defensive player of the year. Chad Boucher. Announcing players. Boucher. Um, dude, now that now that you got me thinking it, now I can't even say it. Usually is this, I say it right. Wait, this is offensive, right? Yeah, yeah. offensive player. Okay. Of the year. I thought you said defense. That does look like a D. I see it. It, it does. does. Look like a D. It is an offensive. Um so yeah, Chad, you swear, however you pronounce that, I apologize, man. But congratulations on your nomination. Alex Goldman, Archie Bonamayer, Alex Good. Alex, Axel Goudin, and then Dalton Vanderbilt. I mean, again. I think it's pronounced Godin. I think it's pronounced Godin. Oh. I mean, that's a French one. I'm destined to get that one wrong. The other yeah. one is just me being horrible at speaking the, you know, language, language English. But, yeah. Uh, are now. Our, are we going to make our own personal votes on these? I Maybe we will. Maybe we'll do that next week. That might be a good idea. Um, when, do, when do the winners get announced? I don't even know if I've seen an announcement about that. So I know he did just open up fan voting for some of these awards as well. I saw that, yeah. Uh, originally, that was just for the off-the-field type stuff. Um, so, yeah. So uh, you guys can go vote on these. Uh, I mean, by the time you see the show, I think it will be closed. So <laughs> Vote Ryan kinda, Moffitt. Vote Ryan Moffitt for awkward. creator of the year. Vote um, Ryan Moffitt. Hey, we'll, we'll get to those. We'll get to those. Uh, defensive player of the year, Hatch. It starts with a D, so that's what you do. And the All jury right, does. here we go. Defensive player of the year. We got Marcelo Margot, Tyler Harmon, Jason Edwards, Yo Shrout, and Henry Sense. That one's a little biased for me. I like Henry Sense. I think that guy's. I think that guy's. A- I'm a little biased too. Shout out Yo Shrout. One of the one of the nicest dudes in PayPal, honestly. Um, Is there one where Dynasty doesn't have two on him? No. Okay, there are some. You know why? Because they pretty much won every event, and they're fucking good. <laughs> I, I agree. I was like, God damn, there's, di- there's at least two dynasty on almost every single one of them. And then I, I think this is the last one, right, for the on the field stuff. Yeah. So this is the last one. This is, you know, this is the the, the MVP of the year, pretty much, but the icon of the year. Um, Brandon, you want to take us through that? Yeah, I got it. Um, the icon of the year this year, we got Ryan Greenspan, Justin Rabikov, Archie Montemayor, uh Tyler Harmon, and Jacob Edwards. Yeah. Man. Are we allowed Not to a, vote on that one? Are we allowed to vote on that one? I th- maybe? I don't know. What, what would your vote be? Yeah. Let's hear it, Hash. All right. Mine. Ah, okay. I would probably say, realistically, Justin Rabikoff. Right. Yeah. Because that guy, right, just like just like Ryan Greenspan and, you know, uh, Oliver Lang, the, he, they're just naturally good at it. Mm-hmm. Right? It's like riding a bike. There's no way he can play paintball bad. Right. Yeah. I mean, he's see, been doing it. Very, it's like right. He, he could hold a gun. He's one of those right? kids. Yeah. But so here's here's a little story about J. Rab. One time, so my very first time fucking ever hitting for impact. Right. My first year with DMG, we're pitting for impact, bro. And we have a we have an inside joke where if you get a shaky pod, right? Cause you know, you never want shaky pods. You never want rattlers, right? So we call them maracas, right? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Shh, 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 shh. Makes sense, right? And uh, so. I'm filling up. I'm filling up. He got. He grabs a pot out. I'm not the one who did it though, right? Uh, shakes it. He goes, "Oh, shaky." Opens it up, pours it in the trash, and I'm like, "All right, buddy. All right." And I see how you go, right? And then so he's like, he goes, "Give me another pot. Go another in the pot." And I was like, "God damn, what a fucking beast!" Doesn't even give Just a shit. Tump the paint, dude. There's Doesn't a lot of a there's a lot of TikTok commenters who would have hated him for that. You know, he's wasting forty dollars. Oh my god. Dude, look at all those paint bullets on the ground. Don't spill the paint bullets. Uh, I think my vote would uh, would actually probably be Archie, man. Uh, moving over to a new team, um, bringing yeah, amazing one. success to that team, playing the one on the snake side, which, like, I mean, Archie hasn't really been playing all that much recently. And, like, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like dude did a fucking great-A job this year. It would not surprise me to see if they if they gave that award to him. Um, yeah, it was so that fun was... watching him too. Oh, go on, like, Brandon. You, you, it was just fun watching him play that, uh, play the snake side. Um, 
Yeah, because it was so... He wasn't like any any other Snake player, you know. He wasn't like Billy or, or, or Chad or mm-hmm. Keith, just full steam ahead. Yeah, right I think he proved you didn't need to be the fastest guy to get to the Snake. Yeah, right? yeah. You it know, helps, I think he but you don't that, have to Yes, be. I think he proved that the smartest guy wins the battle, for mm-hmm. sure. Right? No, I, I would agree. He may not have taken Snake off the break, right? But if he got into God, he, if he got into the God bunker and survived, talked to this team and worked his way into the Snake slowly, they would usually win that point. Yeah, well, and, and that's still producing because that's all he had. Very, to do. very good. And that that's kind of what he did. He did all he had to do, but he didn't try to do extra. And that's if if a guy does that reliably, that almost makes them more valuable because it's like it's the guy who tries to do extra. It's like that's when you get caught up. That's when you get greedy. That's when shit starts to go wrong. So. Yeah, no, Archie, I mean, held it down, was a solid-ass player all year, but also had a couple ass, you know, a couple good moments. Had some had Great some kind of, uh, uh, what was I trying to think? He had some nice-ass, like, uh, uh, damn, I can't think of the right word right now, like quips Rundowns? and stuff, um, you know? You know, his, uh, his I'm not done at the Philadelphia and stuff like that. I'm talking about the personality oh, stuff, because gotcha, that's what gotcha, I care gotcha. about. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, no, I mean, he, yeah, great-ass year. I think that's kind of my vote for it. I mean, we'll we'll see where it goes, but yeah. Um, moving on to the next kind of category. Wait, of who was your? Did you say Archie Brando? Was that was that yeah, yours? Yeah, Archie? yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I agreed with Ryan. Yeah, I think. Gotcha. Okay, I heard that. That's why I was like, yeah, uh, yeah. So the d- team category. So uh, we'll be starting here at the divisional team of the year. Um, so Sacramento DMG D three. Wow, let's go, guys! Yay! No, okay. yeah. no. So you guys did well, not. We get did. Nominated. We did win an event, though. We did win an event. One A whatever. event, not not multiple. <laughs> um, so we not have multiple. Austin Notorious, PB Fit, Blast Camp, New York Wrecking Crew, and then KC All Star. Um, that's it's an interesting one for me. Cause, I mean, I would probably. I hmm. I don't know where to go there. I what think was for the me, other D two team. Sorry, sorry. The uh, was it Leverage? That I thought Leverage was was in first place uh, in D two until World Cup. I don't know. They it, probably like, were the overall standing. They did double points. Yeah, I know. And I I think the placings they 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 did a, just better in uh, um, all the other turns leading up to World Cup uh, than the Missouri All Stars. But uh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean. Casey also what, what like, has that name. I mean, hey, Doss played for him this year, so don't don't talk too much shit. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, for me, just... it's it's between either uh, Fit or Wrecking Crew. Um, I think Fit maybe just because of their story, just because the the team like stuck together. It's pretty much Dallas from last year, and hey, they mm-hmm. wanted to go get you know get their spot back. Um, uh, I mean, they didn't quite do it, but it wasn't like they were last. Like I mean, they were up there in the fight. They were on Sunday at World Cup to win it, and they just, you know, they didn't have those last couple of matches. Um, Wrecking Crew, I could see maybe a vote for them as well. I know they... Those guys are good players. I like playing They did pretty good in in D3. Mm -hmm. Um, And they're... I mean, I I call them Marcelo's gifted children because they're just, like, hand-picked, you know, selected by him, but Mm -hmm. they're, they're picked by him for a reason. Like, they're, they're good kids who want to work hard and get better at the game. So it's, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's a good game. Game respects like game, man, too. you know? Yeah. From a grinder to another, you know, I respect it. Right. So I think that those guys, uh, those guys definitely deserve a nomination without a doubt. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. Breakout team of the year. Why don't you take this one, Ash? All right. Breakout team of the year. We got New Orleans, New Orleans Hurricanes, ML Kings, the Heroines, Seattle Thunder, and Tampa Bay Damage. Uh, are we voting? Uh, we can. Um, I, I feel like now we just vote on that. I feel like now we just start voting low key. Yeah. Well, because also the other ones, like there was a lot, we'll vote, but there's less. Yeah, now. yeah. We'll vote for the. We'll vote. We'll vote on the main big ones next week. Okay. Yeah. Find out next week. <laughs> you know. But uh, all right. I think for that one, without a doubt, I would have to say uh, breakout team of the year. God damn, dude. That one's hard. I'd say the Hurricanes. I'd say the Hurricanes. Cause... Yeah. What what do they finish? Eleventh overall or, or something like that? I don't know. Yeah. They, they weren't they weren't bottom of the pack team. Um, yeah, they, 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 they weren't. They, they weren't a push over. Somebody. They beat somebody the first event, and it was like, what the fuck? I forgot who it was. But uh, oh, I know what you're yeah, talking about. They were about. not. I forget as well. I it was an my upset. Their first game. Of me. Or no, um, their first game. I think it was against Impact, and they almost won in like in in overtime. 
if I am okay. correct. I, that was like, I don't crazy. fully remember, so I'm not. I'm I don't not either. I don't even. I could be pulling this out of my uh, ass. You never yeah, know. I think my vote would either be ML Kings or Hurricanes. Um, I, Damage did win an event this year, but they're a good organization. They should be winning events. That's not like a breakout type success for them. Um, ML Kings, I you know. They're not a crazy, you know, that last year's lower roster wasn't a crazy huge, like, superstar roster. And they made Sunday a couple times. They won a couple games on Sunday. Like, I would say that that competes as well. Uh, but, yeah, no, I I, I would go hurt ML Kings personally. I do see the Hurricanes as a good vote as well. Um, I, they were just not – I didn't see anything that necessarily stood out to me with the Hurricanes, though, if that makes sense. Is there a most entertaining team to watch? There should be, and you know who has my vote. Who? NYX, dog. Okay, thank God. Okay, I, I thought you were going to vote for someone else. But... Nah, yeah, that's 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 the most entertaining match. doesn't matter who they're playing. It's, an, it's a fun game to watch. I agree. Sometimes they're getting fucking destroyed, and they still have a, they still got a swagger to it. Yeah. I like that shit. Yeah, no, that's, you know. I'm a, I'm a hey, game respect game. Um, <laughs> game respects game. And speaking of games, Brandon, walk us through the uh, Iconic Awards Game of the Year. Yeah, game of the year. Uh, first one's from event one. It's the Dynasty and Latin Saints uh, finals. Then the second one is yeah from event two. It's damage against impact. Uh, the finals. The one on ones. I watched that in person. So, yep, all the way down to one on one. Uh, the third one's from event three, and it's the Revo and Dynasty uh, semifinals game. Um. The fourth one's from Event 2 again. It's the Infamous and Damage Prelim game. And then the last one is Impact against Heat in Event 4. And that was in the semifinals as well. Hmm. Hmm. I don't I wish remember I had, like, some what I... Shots, you know? I wish I had some tween shots, you know, some background, you know. I mean, the one See, that the stands one out I... most to me is that Event 1 finals. Oh, without a doubt, because that's the finals. Right, I can remember the damage and the impact, or the Dynasty I, Saints damage I, impact one because those were in the finals. Yeah, right? I remember those ones vividly. Um, the only one I don't remember is the infamous and damage one. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, it was a prelims I, match. I, I probably yeah. saw it. I just don't necessarily remember it right now. Um, yeah, I think my vote honestly is the damage impact game. I mean, game comes down to one v ones. Like, that's. You know, you can't ask for a better game than that. Like, it's such a close match that it has to be I settled mono a mono. I mean, hell, dude. Um, you know, when a, a, a series I had, and, and maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, you know, so this isn't a commitment. <laughs> um, but I was thinking uh, it would be cool to go back and watch some of the, like, old historical, like, finals and, like, popular games and do, like, kind of a React series to those and kind of, like, walk mm. some of the, the newer paintball kids through uh, some of our history. But, um, yeah, like, the 20... Was it 13? 2012, I think. The the Champs vs. Challengers game, that infamous... Dynasty Infamous. Dynasty Infamous. 2014, 2014 Challengers. Yeah, yeah. 2014, um, Challengers. Yeah, 2014 Challengers. yeah, dude. Such a legendary dude, game. Bro. Ends in one-on-ones. <laughs> like, such an amazing match. Was I one of the, the most champions. watched matches of the PSP. And it's like... Ever. It was a Challengers so match. So insane. Like, it wasn't even the grand finale final. Like, Dude, the grand finale final was lame. It was damage getting fucking smoked by our chaos seven to zero. Dude, okay. I remember that game as well, too. That's crazy. Dude, that's when our chaos was like, come on the scene, we destroy, and then we leave. <laughs> well, okay, okay, the thing is, right, that was what they thought it was, right? So they had to start out in the beginning of that year in the challengers, right? Work their way up. They uh I think they uh won the challengers, right? So now they're up in champions, then they're in champions, and then they lose every single game in champions, get relegated again. <laughs> Right, go down, go down, challengers, win again, come back to champions. They beat Impact in the finals in the 2014 Riverside Open, mm -hmm. and then they win Cup. So it's like, dude, what a fucking roller coaster! Yeah, that's a lot of right? emotions. Because it's like realistically, because in when the champions and challengers was a thing, right? Even though you're winning um, the challengers, that's 11th place. It's like, yeah, you're you, you're the right. The yeah, no, I, I don't know a best way to say it, but it's like you're not the winner. Like you're still there's teams yeah. above you. Like you're not the you're not the okay. Ha, let's put it brutally, the best loser. That's yeah, I see what you're saying. That's a good way to right? put it. Right, that's yeah. the brutal that's the brutal way of putting it. 
right? I mean, the, the the best loser. You won all your games, but I, I see what you're saying, yeah. Right, but it's like you ain't you ain't first at that point, right? Well, and if you're not first, you're last. Then welcome to America. Exactly, baby. that's what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> America, right. I need that shit now. So game of the year, I'm gonna say uh, damage say impact dynasty. in the finals. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll say damage impact. You got that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Team of the year. So we got dynasty impact, Houston Heat, Tampa Bay damage, and uh, the Boston heroines. Oh, I didn't know the heroines were actually based out of Boston. Um, but yeah, so uh, I mean, my vote's easy. Let me guess, Dynasty. Yeah, yeah bro. Mm-hmm. They won Cup. They won f- three, four events this year. Yeah, if we're going they, off that, they definitely only two minors. But I think did they win the four events? Three, three. So three, three. events. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, dude. I wonder how Impact would have done if they still had all of their guys at the beginning of the year. If, right? if, say if the J-Rap Saints stayed, never happens. A-Rod stayed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if the Latin Saints thing never happened, how good would Impact, how good would Impact, because right, three of those guys got first, got second yep. to Dynasty, right? Mm-hmm. Spica, yep. Right? Oh yeah, Spica was on, yeah, now he's on Dynasty, right? Mm-hmm. What a fucking role. Spica's right? a year. good ass paintball player, bro. Yeah, it was A-Rod, it was A-Rod, uh, A-Rod, Mouse, Mouse, Mouse Spica, J-Rab, J-Rab, Rab. Spica, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kakao Spica was on Impact. Damn, yep. I totally forgot about that. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy yeah. how, like, times change so fast. It's crazy, because I remember hearing, like, someone, I remember, dude, the year before, a year before that, I heard a rumor saying that someone is going to come out of, someone's going to come out of South America with a bunch of money and buy all of the best players. And I remember hearing that as a rumor. I do. I remember hearing Wait. that as a rumor, and I was like, I was like, yeah, at me as I usually am, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. Right? And then uh, it, a whole year went on, and I completely forgot. And then all of a sudden, words talking about Latin saints. <laughs> what the hell? And then it's like, all of a sudden, Mouse leaves, A-Rod leaves, Kyle leaves, Corey Hall leaves the Iron Man, right? Yeah. It was a oh, crazy Celos leaves. Celos leaves. What is Celos? The Iron Man as well, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, dude, the, some of the best players from a, a top tier team and a, I guess a middle tier team for the Iron Man at that time, right? Mm-hmm. All jumping ship to go on a go on another uh, team that nobody knows anything about, right? That they just like bought a spot. That's so like un. That, that's so uncharacteristic from the sport, right? Yeah. I was. I mean, in my mind, I was like, dude, that's the dream right there, right? A team coming in with real money, buying players, paying mm-hmm. them salary. That's no, the I, fucking I agree. Dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, no, so when I, that actually for sure. came in, I was it's crazy, right? And it all started a rumor like what, two years ago now, right? Mm-hmm. So crazy, bro. Yeah. How, how paintball is like evolving every every single month. Damn, I hate that. I had something in my head as you were going. Oh my bad, bro. And I was like, fuck. Mm, oh, what's up? What's up? We're still talking. We're still talking about the paintball. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can we can go back to. There's one more category of awards that we oh. gotta go through. Um, yeah, 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 wait, yeah, yeah. We can wait on that. I was going to fuck. I was gonna say something because it related to what you said, but God damn it, man, had the My uh, bad, bro. Dude, this is okay. Anyone out there? Go go talk on a microphone for an hour and a half and see if you you know remember everything. Because God damn, dude, I swear my brain becomes mush after the show. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, sometimes I just have to, uh, I have to take a step away and go shit on some kids in Valorant. You know, sometimes I have to <laughs> mid podcast. Yeah, dude, let me tell you, never mid podcast. It's okay. never been mid podcast. Thank God. That's good. But uh, there been times where it's close. I'm like, yo, dude, I'm itching, bro, and I gotta, I gotta go somewhere. You know, because sometimes I get, jit- I get jittery, right? Sometimes like sitting in the same spot, right? Mm. I get jittery, right? Sometimes I gotta stretch, you know. But sitting here for this long, low key, it's good for me keeps me sane it's good to, it's like it's like therapy in a way yeah you know? no it's working on to, your adhd brother yeah and i get to i get to vent i get to vent to my best friends every week about <laughs> bullshit right some mm-hmm. random stuff that we get to talk about you know paintball stuff what makes what grinds my gears and paintballs hey. and my teammates guns go down <laughs> for sure um before you do another long rant i forget it again oh, i remember good, what good. i was gonna ask good. um did you guys hear the rumor that dylan was down at iron man tryouts this past weekend he, Yes, so I'm gonna talk about this because mm-hmm. this, this is already like later in the future. Some rumors that I've heard. Mm-hmm. So I have heard, I have heard that. Um, and th- okay, this is this is in my theory, right? Not only was it Ironman tryouts, I think it could have possibly been aftermath tryouts. 
as well, right? Or maybe after, maybe some aftermath staff is sitting there, right? To where it's like, oh, the Iron Man don't want them. We'll take them, right? Because mm -hmm. I think Dylan went down there. I think Jabo also went down there, like Jordan Boyum. I think Mark Spiegelman also went down there. Um, if I am correct, I'm pretty sure Patty Gleason was down there from Seattle Thunder. I'm pretty sure Corey Field, Adam Gomez, and another oh, uh, gone a blank. Sakaguchi. Uh, Sakaguchi. Was, Sak was it Sakaguchi? Yeah. And yeah, this is all actually. alleged because we don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay, alleged, right? I yeah, saw I saw I saw photos legend. of people that looked exactly like them in a place that looked exactly like Camp Pendleton. With right. jerseys that said their names on them, but allegedly we don't know it could have been an imposter. With, I actually never saw with, the jerseys, I only saw the front. Okay. With but, die with bunkers that said die in the background. Right. This so, is all damning evidence, but this is alleged, you know. Welcome to our podcast. A, this is alleged, right? We're, we're saving ourselves. <laughs> but uh I think that I think that uh, if Dylan went down there, if he did go down there, right? I I don't know about that. If he for sure went down, right? Mm -hmm. I wish him like the best of luck, right? I think uh, the last two events really, I think they really uh, saved slash catapulted his career as a paintball player, mm -hmm. right? To where it's like not only was he like he wasn't known as you know uh, a bottom tier pro team Dorito guy, right? He was known mm -hmm. as the Bruiser, right? The guy that fuck just jc up the guy that fucked him up yeah right a guy that has that is known for getting into these standoffs right because ryan you had that clip with with, with uh yeah with well and PC not just Brandon that Cornell. like other times before in the past or you know he's that guy who's like yeah give it to me bitch like you know right that's exactly, just dylan right? man and like you can't teams I think want you, that hard, i think you bro. really solidified right and i think that uh i think that that can only amplify his gameplay mm. right um, and I think that with the momentum that he's built built from the bruiser, I think he has to work even harder than what he was working like before. Yeah. Well, ten times. I think what's what's the right way to say it? I think it's. I think a new home, a new space, a new kind of team for him. I think that would be a very good like kind of positive, motivating type thing. Um, you know, that I think dude he does has make drive. The Iron Man, like, the you know, I think the bloody knuckles mindset can only amplify him. Yeah, no, for sure, and and that that's kind of what I'm saying is like, you know, he's got that drive. Like, he's a good ass player. You know, he has a solid work ethic. I think maybe you know there was a little bit of comfort in DMG, and so having to go somewhere else and maybe kind of, you know, have a different system, learn some new things like that might might help him out i maybe mean some i wish the fucking best with it, dude i mean I, i'm i'm assuming without a doubt have... dude that's what dmg was lacking in, in, their, yeah. in their pro team was structure without yeah. a doubt yeah yeah for sure and some people just thrive under that they need that you know that that helps them kind of you know feel feel good about because when you don't have to worry about anything outside of the nets and you just go in the nets and you worry about your job dude it is so easy mm -hmm. right Free like me and brando job. are blessed that we're not like cedar and we have to deal with fucking player coaching bullshit right we're blessed that we didn't have to deal with that right Yep. I love just have to go for, in. Yeah, yeah. We, me and Brando just go in, and me and Brando, I know what Brando's doing. He knows what I'm doing, right? Chess, not checkers. Yeah, it was funny. the The biggest thing I saw when I saw Dylan was at a you know the Iron Man tryouts. Is I was like, well, how oh, you he saw gonna... that he was there for sure? No, 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 no. I, the rumor about it at least. Gotcha, gotcha, um, gotcha. All I'm saying is, it, my first thought was, if he does make the team or make a team down there, how is he going to shoot like a die gun, <laughs> like? I think this man's only shot planet for like most of his life, so we'll have to see. But no, uh, I know, I, dude. I th I think I've shot maybe ten balls out of a die gun in the past like five years. I don't like die markers. I'm sorry. Um, I've just I and I will it's say the I pipe for me. It's the I high haven't, pipe for me. I haven't shot like the M3 or the M2 or any of the newer model ones, but like, I don't know. You guys should have left it back in like the dm series days and then retired it because those got stale and maybe that's Dude, why DSR, because i came into paintball nice. at a time when die was just making a different like colorway every year they weren't really making an improved gun or anything it yeah, was, yeah it's it was like, like carbon right. fiber windows with new bolt <laughs> yeah like it was it was so we early point oh thirteen grams time yeah the, D, the, the DM11 to the DM12 to the DM13 to the DM14. Exactly <laughs> like, it's, yeah. Okay, the DM14, that was the biggest jump because there was no macro line. Mm, okay. That was the first time Die didn't have a macro line. But those goddamn, those guns were hella bulky. Front, yeah. The front grip. Yeah. No, I, I never really shot like those or like prototype guns. Um, I'm trying to think. I pretty much really have just shot Planet. <laughs> I like Planet. <laughs>
back on my old team, we would shoot like DLX and, uh, you know, DLX, that, that dude, that's a great company, right? They have, they have some structure mm-hmm. behind them. They yeah. are engineering like paintball technology, right? So it's called DLX technologies, right? They are, they're making such a good product. Not even going to lie. That's it. I've never really shot one. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've heard like the TM forties are pretty sick guns. So like they just, they feel nice to shoot. Um, the thing is my biggest gripe, like I felt them, right. Cause you know, obviously sometimes you got to grab some, you got to grab another gun and just finger the fuck out of it. Yeah, right. You, you know, got to feel yeah, it. Right. You're just sometimes. like, damn, I haven't shot. I've never shot one of these guns. What does this feel like? Right. You know? Oh dude, this, this isn't a CS2, right? Dude, the edges on the front grip, dude, that shit low key sharp. <laughs> you got to sand it down, man. <laughs> Either sand it down or put some tape on that bitch, dude. Not even going to lie. Damn, and dude. uh Callie's getting restless. <laughs> What's up, Callie? <laughs> New spot? All right. Back to nice. it. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, man. Uh so I guess that was that was that was that topic. Um Fuck, I'm trying to think. Where else do we Okay, one okay, one thing before before we before we go too far. One thing I want to say uh, the 2022 Iconic Awards Creator of the Year's nominees. We have oh. we have Marcelo and Tyler Harmon from the Play the Game podcast. We have Clint Riddle. I'm not too familiar, Ryan. Would you like to take that one? I'm not too familiar with so Clint Riddle. Clint, Clint actually is probably one of the most talented people on this list, not going to lie. Like, he – so I don't know if you guys have seen it, but he made this little, like, kind of magazine flipbook type thing called The Joy of Paintball. Yep, I have seen that. That's him. Okay, okay. I, I that's know him. If that was him. Oh. I, okay, gotcha, gotcha. It's gotcha. a really like cool little like just piece of paintball media. Um, it's dope. Uh, shout out to Clint. Um, if you hear this, man, I, I, you know, I think your work's awesome. So, yeah, no, uh, he does kind of illustrations, drawings, stuff like that around the game. What a beast! And then we got wow. uh, we got Kyle Spicka and Ryan Greenspan from the Spick and Span show. You know. Great yep. group of guys, Ryan Greenspan, dude. That guy, when it comes to the paintball, like the paintball pioneers, dude, like he's gonna be one of them, right? Yeah. Uh, fathers then, of the game. <laughs> yes, exactly. The Godfathers of the game, right? And then we got my personal vote, uh, Ryan Mafia Moffat, mm-hmm. my boy, right? Creating, I think, and this, fuck it, it's biased, right? Whatever. <laughs> biased. But, okay. Dude, let me just say, bro, like. He's doing stuff. He's doing stuff that some of these other people do are doing and more, right? Uh, and stuff mm-hmm. that other people don't see, right? That people voting are not going to see what Ryan does behind the scenes, right? They're never. He's never gonna. They're never gonna realize the conversations that we all have in private, right? Dude, yeah. We are working on. We are working on stuff. Ryan is working on stuff. Ryan, legitimately, without a doubt, in my opinion, should win this, right? But it's he's going against great competition right? and it's a fan podcast. vote so like i've kind of already exactly. designed that vote. like i'm not gonna win and that's okay um dude you win in my heart bro you being nominated is really the cool part because then you know that means that like people you know they are kind of seeing people what's going know. on so yeah no i i appreciate that um you know thanks. i love you bro thanks you, are, you always have a special place in my heart bro and yeah thanks thanks hatch um yeah well and it's funny too because like they put oliver you know oliver and alex from hormesis in this like I worked on Hormesis's projects this year, so it's like yeah, right. They you know, know like <laughs> no, dude, dude, the average person voting for this does not know that the Hormesis films, like all the stuff that they filmed, all their advertisements and stuff like that, was shot by Ryan. Not not all of them. Um, not all of it, but and, a, lot, and a lot of the digital of stuff. Oh, and like that's kind of disingenuous too, because like a lot of the like digital graphics art type stuff that was all done by David Rom, and like he's not mentioned. So it's like I I, I don't know. It's it's one of those things like is what it is uh i i do appreciate iconic for making these awards and you know trying to give our you know community kind of this like spot pedestal, to put, the, this, this pedestal you know, to put all our, to put all our, our idols on yeah know? but also like right. this this thing that generates hype and you know excitement during the off season and no i, I think it's really cool um that they that they do that this is great bro because dude in these months in these months from december january february dude paintball is like if you're not a if you're not a regular grinder dude paintball's like dead it always dies around this time yeah right it's like there's not there's no documentaries being made or there are mm-hmm. but they're like being like crafted right mm-hmm. it's and, like yeah uh, or it's like showing the year in review or something like yep. there's no new right. stuff coming there's, out there's yeah. not very much raw footage right or if you do it's like one video because it's like right dude footage is probably hard to find because nobody's a lot of people aren't grinding we don't got right? it 
right? Like, exactly, yeah, right? we're, we're running out. So, I got I, shorts I bonuses right. turning on yep. on uh, February in uh, on YouTube, and uh, I really don't have much content to post, so I, I need to get some. <laughs> dude, luckily, luckily, we're gonna, we got dude, we got plenty of stuff to film. Uh, we do, we, we do have the ideas. So yeah, we got, I'm excited. We got bro. some good stuff. But uh, yeah, dude, I, I I just want everybody that's listening to know, Ryan, that you do so much, bro, that legitimately uh, everybody on the sides does not see a lot of the work that you put in. Yeah, well, and that's and I love you, bro. It's kind of where I like to stay. You know, I like I like creating shit, and I don't necessarily do it for all the hype and everything. But um, I mean, hell, even look at like Ghost Sports documentary, defining moments additional film provided by Ryan Moffat. Like I worked Dude, on that boy. this year too. Like. You know, it's I'm I'm out here. I'm working. I'm behind the scenes. I'm uh, I'm talking to your favorite pro, and I'm I'm trying to do good content with them. So that's that's the goal for 2023. Is just you know keep on keep making cool shit. Um, hopefully make a little more money. You know that's that's always a goal. And uh, we'll see we'll see what happens. Mafia Digital Media. <laughs> um, yeah, li- Mafia Liquid IV underscore Moffat. Cause uh, I did just wow okay we we have gone way too long and not <laughs> talked about our sponsor so we're gonna do that now quick before we finish these icon awards uh, yeah so Liquid IV um, it's this great great little box right here um, I'm gonna actually pull up my ad read so I don't mess this up Liquid IV uh, three times the electrolytes in most sports drinks uh, so like the great part about it you know if you got Gatorade something like that. It's a little bit cheaper if you kind of go this route. Um, you get more bulk servings. Like, you don't have to have a whole pallet of Gatorade and to have that with you. The other thing, Gatorade's got more sugar. So if you're conscious about that, you know, head over here. Liquid IV's got you covered there. Um, the other cool thing with this product, it's got a ton of vitamins in it. B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Uh, you know, all the good stuff, all the stuff you need to kind of keep you not only energized, but keep that immune system healthy. And, you know, if you're out going to a paintball event, something like that, not getting much sleep, you can always definitely use some of that kind of immune system boost. Um, the other thing that it couldn't be useful for, uh, as I was looking over at my notes, you, um, you know, let's say you're going out, you're drinking, you're having a long ass night and, uh, you know, you're hungover. It happens to the best of us. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm on the younger side, but hey, it's starting to happen and uh, I don't appreciate it. Throw one of these in your in your water, 16 ounces, something like this. Shake it up. You will be all good to go. You'll be hydrated in an instant. Um, there's a lot of great flavors to choose from. My personal favorites are lemon, lime, and the watermelon. Um, I also strawberry. really like strawberry. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's a good choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know Brandon. What's yours? You have a different one. Oh, golden cherry. Golden you guys got to get on this for golden sure. Cherry. Uh, dude, you were supposed to let me try one on Sunday, bro. Oh fuck. Oh my bad. Yeah, damn. I missed out on that. I'll, I'll bring it back to the field. Good. <laughs> You definitely should. But dude, literally, we li- we drink liquid IV every single Sunday. Like, dude, it is almost like a routine. In- with I'm our- starting, dude. I'm I've been drinking one of these pretty much every single day. Uh, it's, every day, it's great. This comes to me to the field and to work. Like, I mean, it's great for work. I don't know. Like for me, at least, you know, just pounding a, a bottle of liquid IV between cases. Yeah, Brando can't yeah, just be sitting there drinking drinking cups of water all day. Yeah. He's got to be efficient with his time, right? <laughs> Needs something that tastes a little better too. Um, and the good news, guys, if you guys want to go pick some up, you can head down. We're gonna have a link in the description below, so head over there. Uh, you can, or you could just go to liquidiv.com and then make sure you use code Mafia underscore Moffitt. So M A F I A underscore M O F F I T T. And when you do that, you get twenty percent off and free shipping. So hey, makes it a little cheaper and. It's already cheaper than other options. So thank you, Liquid IV. You give us a great product. Everything. We enjoy it. And uh, yeah, it's great. I'm going to drink some of it right now. Gotta I love get that like, IV, perfect. Man. The amount, dude, the amount of like Liquid IV that we go through like at an event, dude, we will have bags everywhere of Liquid IV. Yeah. Because it's like when we get back, well, as soon as we get back, like, we're, dude, we're tired. We're getting, we're getting our U-Haul party van, right? <laughs> the party so, van. Dude, Bro, we are cramped. We are cramped in there, dude. So we, yeah, there's like ten of those like packets just laying all around the counter, right? And they're everywhere because we're and we're just like, I would honestly say it's almost like uh, bliss. It's like a time of bliss when we all go in, we all get our liquid IVs, we all shake it up, and then it's like fifteen seconds of just silence, not even silence, just just just, just, of just water of like gulping. There's like, you know, that's all you hear. Some great foley work there. Right, yeah. right. I should be a, I should be a throat actor for sure. <laughs> should be a throat goat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so, dude. But yeah. So thank oh, you. I had flashbacks. Could I be responsible <laughs> the show? 
All right, guys. Thank um, you, so we got a just a couple more awards we got to get through here on the iconic. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a couple more off the field ones. So innovator, in innovator of the year. Um, we got Jack Wood, Billy Wing, uh, Carl Markowski, um, Darren and Maddie. So that's Darren Siesna, I think. Siesna, something like that. And then. But they only Maddie. use a picture of Maddie. I know. Well, because that you can't find a picture of Darren. He doesn't want it. So, yeah. Oh, he's, he's a Josh Hallberg S. He's a hidden person. behind the scenes type of guy. But, yeah. And then Maddie Marshall. Uh, so that's the Go Sports guys. And then Miko uh, Hooten uh, or Hootenon or something I'm, like that. I'm not it's too, I'm not it's too Swedish. Uh, Hootenanny. 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 <laughs> So what? So, is that, is that what so what? Okay. He, did he make an invention this year? Uh, no, Nico works with. Uh, I mean, Hormesis. Hor Hormesis. Now he he worked with Ghost Sports in the past. He worked with Push at one point. Like he's he's worked with a lot of different companies. Um, gotcha. Doing like I want to say product development type stuff. So like engineering and stuff like that. But uh, also you know he's a really good um, videographer and like he's kind of started to like work into that stuff. So um. Yeah, uh, I know he did a couple things like with Ryan uh, Greenspan this year when they were doing the Hormesis um, like sponsorship announcement and stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's innovator or in a. I can't say that word. It's the double ends. They innovator. Get me, innovator of the year. Uh, and then product of the year, and I'm actually surprised like there's a product that's not on this list. Um, you want to walk walk through it, Hash? What the. Are we talking? Okay, is the product that was not on there the goddamn Karl Markowski tool? Is that the one you're talking about? Yep. Okay, so we got a die DLS. We got limited edition ProFlex. That was already invented. Yeah. That was already a thing. Let me just say, I'm not bagging, but come on. Uh, infamous modular bag. I ain't even gonna say anything about that. Um, then we got what is that? The Carbon Zero Mask. Yep. Pretty cool, right? You don't see very, you don't see masks being made very often, right? Yeah. Very cool. Then the then the DLX TM40 frame. Oh, that's a mechanical frame. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's right? it's cool. yeah. They they made a mech frame for the TM40. Um. That's cool, right? Because you can have a fifteen hundred dollar gun, or you can have your mechanical gun shoot like a fifteen hundred dollar gun, like that, that smooth. Well, that's pretty sweet. No, it's it's that like you can take your TM40 and then make it mech. So like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. you can oh, like. Okay. So you oh, can I see what you're make, saying. Yeah. Instead of using instead of using like uh, a fucking titman, you know that ping, right? You get the nice soft DLX. Lux shot from that, right? The TM40 shot, right? Well, You're yeah, not but shooting a normal, it, or like an it's not compared to a Titman. It's compared to like the CS, uh, the CS2, uh, a mech frame or like can the. You... Oh, you can do a mech frame on a CS2. Yeah, yeah. or the um, what's it called? The like, the Emac. I can't. I don't know why I'm not thinking about it right Rando, now. I want you. I want your uh, CVO this weekend. I want to. I'll bring your it. CVO this weekend. I'll bring it. Dude, it's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, I might, I might fix the trigger for you. Maybe, yeah, maybe now, now maybe I'll have to come to the field. We'll, we'll see. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, so the one product that's not on here that should be is the tank tool. one. Yeah, I think they probably did that because he was like, ah, he's already on Innovator of the Year. He's already nominated for that. But yeah, dude, but that, that multi tool that's dude, the that, best that product that was made this year, hands down. Yeah, like, I, I went I to go buy one at World Cup. I went to go buy one at World Cup, and oh, they sold out. Yeah, yeah, of course like, they were. It was such it was a good product. Immediately, yeah. The limited edition ProFlex frames, bro. Come on, that's come a on, little bro. Bit of a softball. That's a, a that's a stretch. Yeah, that's a stretch. You know, ProFlexes have been a thing since fucking two thousand nine or since two thousand one. Yeah, I'm like earlier than that, <laughs> dude. I was so ninety nine. When I was when I was doing a actually wait, it was in the nineties. Back yeah. in the 90s. Yeah, anyways. Um, when I was voting on this, I was like, oh, the Infamous. Because well, the Infamous bags look pretty cool. Like the gear bags and everything. They are you know? pretty dope, I will yeah, say. Uh, until, until, until. I didn't think you until... were going to mention uh, that. I didn't think you were going to mention that. I'll mention it. I'll mention it. I didn't think you were going to mention that. That's why no, I said I'm I was still... going to say anything. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. I have missed something. <laughs> there, Go ahead, Brando. You know, the gear bag looks great. The gear bag looks great. But they had the backpack on that and... I just know a certain someone that went back uh, twice uh, after the zipper broke immediately after buying this the backpack, and I was like, Ugh, I just can't put my vote on that. I don't know. Still, it's, it's still, hey, the gear bag looks really nice. Nothing bad about the gear bag. The biggest backpack. thing to it is that it's waterproof. 
That is the yeah. biggest bonus. You're like, yeah. this yeah. year literally proved how bad the water can be, right? It's Chicago solidly, Sunday, yeah. dude, that, that was bad. That would have been miserable. great for this weekend. Right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. No, yeah. It was raining. 100%. Right? Uh, do we have – oh, yeah, we have a couple more. Their customer service is good. That's where I will oh, say that, yeah. that that is what oh, absolutely. balances off that uh, that bad experience with the bag is the, comp is the customer service that – that, that helps. The people from infamous oh yeah they had no issue have. in in replacing it yeah, yeah. it was customer service <laughs> so great. maybe that's like a weak part that they know about and they're trying to like re-engineer or something it has to be right yeah okay um all right so moving on photographer of the year uh whose turn is it is it brandon's i think it's brandon's photographer of the year yeah sure yeah i'll take this one photographer of the year there's rob moore uh who is flockhouse uh photos there's sam bennett uh who is all in media there's george George Fav Fava Fava Fava, Fava which is Fava, Fava photo, photo right? yeah, yeah. Gotcha. and then Michael Mower, uh, which is MM, MM Photography Double Zero Zero Zero, and then uh, Ryan Lucal, who is Kurt Photography, which I didn't know that that was him. Uh, yeah. well, I don't think is it right. Is, I don't, is it Lucal or is it Luca? Kurt. Something like that. Luca. L U E C K E. However you pronounce that. That guy related to the Lacal brothers? I don't. I don't think he is. That's why no I'm way, saying right? that. So I. I don't think it's the same last name. But, whatever. I don't know. I'm not here to pronounce shit. Well, you guys all know hey, that. Yeah, I, hey, I um, vote for Sam. But it's a hard. It's a hard one between Sam and, and Fava. Yeah, really I'm gonna really vote for one. Fava. Uh, but that is. Yeah, I mean, dude, that. I like both those guys. Sam. I, still I, is a I hard have more one. of a like, personal bias for Sam. I. Yeah. I love Sam to death. Oh, I. I have a, I love Sam too, man. I I just think George is one of the guys I looked up to when I was like first getting into all this shit, and so like it's it's pretty cool that I get to you know work alongside him now, and I I think he's a very talented photographer, videographer, and you know does a lot of shit. So that that's Without my vote. But at the same time, like I'm not putting down Sam or Mike Moore or Rob Moore, um, because like goddamn, those guys are all very good at what they do. And then supporter of the year. We got uh, Josh Howe from uh, HK Army, uh, John Dresser from uh, Core, the uh, like JT group and everything. Um, the Planet Eclipse tech team, <laughs> it's a whole team. <laughs> Russell Jackson and then Fran. Oh, I don't even, I don't even try to pronounce that last name, but Fran, Fran the Iron Fran Man. T, Mr. T, Fran, Fran T. T. Yeah, um, isn't it ASG is the field he owns, or he owns that one? Or is it not ASG? Sorry, I know it's one of the ones down there. I thought they were. I thought it was Pendleton. Is it Pendleton? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I know it's one in that area. I'm sorry. Um. But yeah. So mm -hmm. owner of Pendleton. Um. Does a lot out there for that. You know, paintball community. So yeah. Shout out them. Um. I, I don't like really Russell have Jackson. a pick on this one. So I like um, Russell Jackson. When I was sponsored by DLX, he would definitely uh you know take some time out to make sure my gun was always good. Go the extra mile. Played. Make right. you feel he good. Meant, he always went the extra. Without a doubt. That's the, the best. Man. Good. That's the best. All right uh and then the last one kind of the spiciest one of the year i feel like videographer yeah we got videographer of the year not spicy i just mean like it's hot because it's cool like, that one's gonna be a not hard drama pick. but not drama it's just dude they're tough competition they're all from good <laughs> like yeah all good i mean we got so we got danny lincoln uh who's now shoots uh he's the hk army lead videographer we got the boy enrique gonzalez um, enrique bro you're Need I say more? Enrique Graffy Photography. We got Brian Wolf Verbal. Um, God damn it! I love both of them so much. Yeah, Brian's been on the show, and I guess Enrique hasn't. So maybe that's who we have to pick. I, I don't know. But oh, I thought you, I thought you had Enrique on with with Jordan. No, we no, had was... Ivan on. Bruh. Oh, I. You do honestly, bro. That one went right over my head for a second. That one went right over my head. That was a, a second. good one, Brandon. You got that in. And then David Quitman uh you know Quitsky, he he did some stuff in paintball earlier this year and then moved on to airsoft um i mean he actually did make some fire ass pieces i looked back he posted a couple of his like edits for oh, hk man, I... and i was like damn he's kind of hot um I, I hated seeing all the hate on his on his when he was supposed to airsoft yeah i really hated seeing all the hate that he got dude oh my god it was actually like bothering the fuck out of it's me cringe bro <laughs> it's like uh dude the people that were hating on him for that made him look so like so much worse he made paintball players look like such fucking goobers yeah everybody no, doesn't commented hating like yeah. that made it look like y'all are idiots whoever commented like that yo support your boy he's going to get paid 
Come on. That's what I'm saying, dude. David, uh, David Quitman, I love you, bro. Yeah, shout out Quitsky. Sam, 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 and Enrique introduced me to Quitman at World Cup last year, and that's and where then, I got acquainted with him. One more name, sorry, just to get it in there, and then we can discuss um, CJ Cancer. So, player for New York Extreme. Comes for GI, also, right? yeah, works, does stuff with GI. Big oh, fan of that I guy. That. I like his. Uh, I like when he overshoots fools. I like that. <laughs> yep. Uh, no, dude, he's he's a wicked director of photography. Um, I've seen some of the stuff he shot. He's yeah. No. Oh. Cantor's, Cantor's good. So, so good. dude, that that category is like, <laughs> who the fuck do you pick? They're all good. Um, honestly, I'm I'm probably gonna pick Enrique just because I want to help him out and get the votes. I think Herbal's gonna win, but you know, it is what it is. We'll see. So we'll see. Yeah, I agree. Enrique. That's such a hard vote, right? Because yeah, it's like, it's I love Enrique. I love Enrique and I love Verb, right? Because it's like, dude, what the fuck? Come on, yeah. stop making me pick. You know, that's like uh, I want to support never... Enrique because honestly, I feel like Verb's got enough support already. No offense, Verb, I still love you. I want to support you, but it's like <laughs> in this, I only get to choose one, so I'm I'm choosing, you know, the the boy. Goddamn, so good. <laughs> what did you just put in the? Fucking... That okay, that, that is gonna lead into the Woody Rather. That, I, I was oh just, God, just, okay, okay. Well, all right, so Hatch is getting ready for this, so we might as well go into it. Probably one of the last things we'll touch on tonight. But, yeah, so what is this Would You Rather? We've been building it okay. up. Okay, so, Ryan, if you don't mind, through the power of editing, we'll flash this on the screen real quick, just for just a quick moment, just so okay. you can kind of see right. I will add the premise. This Do you need spooky this, this music setting. as well? or? You know, uh, I would honestly... Do you really want to know? Files. Why am I giving uh, myself more editing? Yeah, yeah. No, let's... Okay, so I would... This is very specific, Ryan. You fucked up here. Oh, All damn right, it. So Fuck. I need uh, I need at least... You know, okay. Would you rather fight a chimp, a fully grown chimpanzee, right? And you're in the woods, right? The, the, settings that, the setting that we popped up, that's where you are, right? Okay. Fully grown chimpanzee, and you have a and you have a nice eight inch fixed blade, fifty yards away, right? That's your okay. only weapon, right? But eight the inch thing fixed is, right, blade. Okay. So these are the rules, right? There's you and this and the monkey, right? Fifty yards away is the knife, and in between you and the knife is the monkey, right? Okay. So would you rather fight the a fully grown chimpanzee or a fully grown sun bear, Ryan? If you want to flash an image of what a sun bear is. I'm gonna have to look up what a sun bear is, but I'm gonna dude, write that holy down. Fuck, I never bro. actually looked at one. Bro, what the look at that fuck shit, is a dude. Sun bear, give me one second. Look it up, dude. I'll, I mean, I'll, it'll already be on. The the, it'll be on the screen, but oh. I'm just looking it up right now. Um, dude, these God. things terrifying, bro. Where's that tongue going? That's what I'm fucking saying, dude. I better hope he fucking kills me before he uses <laughs> that shit. What did that tongue do, bro? Oh my God. Right. So, dude, imagine fighting that fucker. Yo, and those eyes. What right? Fuck? What do you even do, bro? What do you even do against that thing, bro? Right? So damn. And okay. I saw. So and the reason why I, I brought this up, right? Because I saw a fucking Reddit clip of like what one in captivity looked like, and when it like attacked a zookeeper, bro. This that shit thing, had me thinking. How have I never heard of this? <laughs> right, dude. Isn't that just like a terrifying? It's so. It low key was cute and cuddly, and then when they're like. I don't know. Are you, if you're looking on Google Images, you probably see the fucking the uh, the image when they're like this, dude, fucking Wendigo style, when they're like standing up, like kind of fucking chilling. There. Yeah. Like, and then dude, there's that one that like to look dude, at. their eyes just look fucked up. Okay. Yeah, I I'll definitely it... have to put some of these pictures on screen because, uh, yeah, this is like this one. Is this one you're talking about? Let's see. Yes. Look at that one, bro. Yeah, what that's the, the fuck exact is that, one. Dude? What the hell? God. Okay. So, would you rather fight a fully grown chimpanzee? Or a fully grown sun bear. But you have a knife 50 yards away, but the animal is between you and the knife. Which one would you take? Which one do you think you could possibly take in a fight? Right? Because a sun bear, that ain't no I, grizzly, right? I'm just going like, to sigh, grizzly, dude. A grizzly I would neither. fucking clap you, bro. A grizzly would fucking destroy you in two seconds. Right? No, I agree. Um, sun bear, that ain't too big. Let's look at the sun bear stats. No, no, no. no, no. So hear out my thought process here. Okay, let's hear it. I can either die by something I don't know that terrifies me, or I can die by a chimp that doesn't terrify me, but will just rip my balls off and then hit me with shit for a while before actually killing me. 
I don't know, man. Chimpanzees are fucking crazy, bro. I know. You ever seen the interview with Eddie Murphy but talk about Michael Jackson's chimpanzee? Hmm. He's like, he's like, oh, bubbles, yeah, you can't touch bubbles. <laughs> you can't. But bubbles will kill you. <laughs> yeah, now the bu now the bubbles older. You don't you don't go near bubbles. <laughs> it's like, bro, you don't fuck with bubbles. Like, no, imagine you versus bubbles. Yeah, I don't know. Question, question. How sharp right. are the sun bear's teeth? I tell, we're, we're, like, we're I haven't seen a, a fucking... single tooth picture. So, like, are they, like, are they bears? Do they have impressive well, yeah, bears. jaws? Let's like, look at, let's look at sun do you bear. get what I'm saying? Like, are they, are they people? Oh, are they the human? <laughs> they low key, dude. That shit looks like something with fucking skinwalker. Okay, yeah, they definitely got teeth, bro. Okay, yeah. yeah. Hold up, let me send this yeah, image. Post this Hold one. on. Post this one. Hold on, bro. You know, as I look more into this, after, oh shit. I mean, yeah, but, <laughs> but I mean, chimps. Look at, I mean, no, I, I guess theirs aren't as big. Right. They're, they're like Someone brought up right. Okay, the thing is, right. Wait, since you're in the woods, I would say my biggest advantage, right, is my mobility. Right. Sure, they can like probably run faster than me. Right. But I feel like there are some times where, at least against the bear, I can probably be more agile. Right. Where it's like, um. I can kind of juke him out. So right? you know what's I funny? Can run, run left, grab the tree, pull myself over, juked, then go towards the knife. Yeah. So I do have to say this. It's funny because you're looking at this from the perspective that you're gonna win. I'm looking at it from the perspective that I'm gonna die. <laughs> Dude, okay. There's obviously a glass half full and a glass half empty. No, I die, know, right? but it was pretty funny because I was like, "Well, I'm gonna just, just gonna die either way." <laughs> like they're two fully grown wild animals that want to kill me. Like. It's not really where humans are great unless we have said knife in hand already. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm kind of thinking sun bear. Sun bear is going to kill me in a less painful way. So, I feel like the sun bear, you could almost like, dude, I don't know. Maybe this is just, I don't, you know, I'm not, I ain't no bear expert. And I ain't no pro expert. I ain't no bear expert. <laughs> but I do feel like, dude, sometimes, like, if I can get that fucker's back, fucking put that motherfucker rear naked choke, dude, and I am just like, holding him like that dude and like low-key like hold, maybe you holding do you realize like, ah! that that it's animal is 15 times stronger than you right okay okay well hold on i was looking up the stats hold on I was okay okay stats. we'll give us hold stats they're not as, like it's not as big as i thought it was exactly no it's smaller it looks pretty big in it's the way smaller than, it's, it's way smaller than what you I would mean, think it would be yeah okay. i need a good i need a banana for scale oh he's he's yeah <laughs> all right so size varies up to five feet varies up, up to, to 100 pounds feet. 150 okay. pounds. 150 that's, pounds, yeah, that, sorry. That's small for you, Ryan. That's, right? and now, no, that's what I'm saying. And, that's more reasonable. Uh, so at that point, you got to think, like, it's just a really big dog that's pissed off at you. It's kind of similar to that, right? Yeah. Kind of, like, right? Okay. And so we'll look at – so adult chimpanzees have the average standing height of 4 foot 11, right? Uh and the average chimpanzee weighs between 88 and 154 pounds. That's the average male. Yeah, I think I think sun bear, man, because chimps do. Chimps are fast. Chimps are dude. The thing semi is, right, yeah. chimps monster, don't bro. give they get a on your fuck. Back, yeah, they're going crazy, dude. Yeah. They'll rip your fucking arms off and beat you with it. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to fight a fucking chimp. You don't. You, like that's what I mean. You said chimp first, and I'm like, well, I'm gonna die because it's a chimp. Like you don't win against chimp unless you have shotgun and you have range. Um. So sun bear, I think, because if it's smaller, I could maybe, maybe fight it off. Like maybe if it's just like a big dog, I don't know. So, at the field when when Hatch asked this, uh, we were going over it. We were talking, and Micah, we, Micah was talking a lot, and you know, I Micah went always talks a Micah. lot. He t yes, he just yeah. You you got to prompt him with something. You don't even have to prompt him actually. He just talks. But, um, uh. uh he, he, he's <laughs> he, he's going on going on about this and making an argument about um did he choose fight a fight a bear was it was it a bear or a chimp i don't remember but it, with him talking made me decide like oh i guess like yeah no i i guess it's the chimp i guess the chimp's the one that um i would choose but again like at, after we're, now we're looking at this it's the sun bear's not as I big as i thought bear. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Dude. I think yeah. Honestly, the chimps, as you said, is more. It's quicker, quicker than the bear. It's gonna be fast. It's quicker. Uh, it's and stronger. also, like, I mean, if we're if we're in the woods, just like the what you put down, it's gonna climb a goddamn tree. It's gonna have a height advantage a lot quicker than a 
the damn bear. All right. I don't know, like, there you guys go. I'll send you that one a little bit. Let me know what you guys think of that that link I just posted in our little thing. Let me see. Let me see what this one is. I hope this doesn't. Now, now we're now we're starting to low key be like Joe Rogan with this shit. Yeah. Now we're said. getting into Reddit. Like, wait, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. There you go, buddy. I'll just tell you guys the title. Not safe for life. Man dangled food in front of a sun bear. Yeah. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this for you Dude. guys. But if I'm on a list now. Okay, that's what you're. Skinny man. Okay, that wait. is a skinny man, to be so, fair. That guy looks very malnourished. To the audience, Holy sorry God. about that. I left the audio on for a second, so that was really loud. Um, <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> right? Dude. But at the same time, like... No one's going in to get him. No yeah. one's giving a fuck, dude. dude they, he drags him back to the cage, and he's like, you're mine now. Yeah. Like, he's nothing. You're mine now. Pretty much. And that's what I mean. Like, both of these animals, you're dying, Hatch. Like, do you agree with me now? Like... Dude, but the thing is, right? I don't know, man. If if and that's what I'm saying. If I maybe had the weapon on me, maybe there's a chance. No, I'm trying I to make it interesting. Lucky. I'm trying to make it interesting. I, I, I know, it's but even yards. even then, I feel like it's still kind of a 50-50. So it's like if I just have a blade, like I feel like with the trees, I can almost serpentine around the trees to where it's like at least with the bear. Yo, you I seen bears climb like trees, bro? Down. No, I'm not. I'm I ain't climbing a tree. Oh, you're ass. trying to break the bear's no, legs? No. I'm talking. Yes, exactly. I right? see you. I'm I running, see you. I'm trying running. to run a clean cut. I go. I go. What's up, bro? I say zig. He says zig. But then I zag. Dude, that point I got the knife, and then it's like, not fair game, but you know, a little bit <laughs> then closer. It's, then it's like a little bit closer. Twenty-five, seventy-five. You know, not ninety, exactly. ten. Maybe not even that. Maybe twenty, eighty. Maybe yeah. right. But dude, the thing yeah, is, right, you gotta no, get, you gotta get his that, back, right. I just watched a man die. All right. Well, that's that's dude. fun. The monkey, though, the monkey would probably take less stabbings than a bear. It, it, the monkey you could probably get one good vital organ a couple times. That thing's done, though. Yes, but the problem is, dude, that monkey's quick Hitting as it. fuck. So it's, strong. it's getting to you instantly. It's pounding on you. It's trying to rip out your arms. It's honestly probably ripped off your balls at this point already. Like, yeah. that's a common monkey fighting tactic. Dude, like, it's like grabbing your fucking arms and then it's ripping your fucking face off with its teeth. Yeah, it's okay. I don't want to fight a champ, bro. One thing, one thing, I got, I got to convey this real quick. I heard this, I heard the statistic, right? That's pretty crazy. Right? Okay. I know we're talking about chimpanzees, but this one's about gorillas. Just a little fun fact. So they say that the average, a fully grown silverback gorilla, is four to nine times stronger than a human, right? And can crush a crocodile's skull. Damn. Right. Okay. You want to know something crazy to think about? Dude, I am four to nine times away from crushing a motherfucking alligator skull. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I'm so close. We're we're so so much closer. We're was, so much closer, right? I appreciate but that. But it's like that was that was good. That's a good <laughs> one, right? That's, that's a, a legitimate. One. That's a legitimate factoid. That's satisfying to hear. I just was not. It wasn't where I was expecting that to go. And I was also downloading images of Sun Bear so I could put it on this podcast later. Um, but yeah. So I Sun Bear. Even if Sun Bear kills me, I'd rather yeah. die to a Sun Bear than die to a chimp. I agree. I think the sun bear would probably be a lot. I don't know, man. He looks like he's low key playing with his food in there. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> but here's the thing. Like you said, maybe I could juke the sun bear so I could get to the knife and perform seppuku before he has a chance. So I could just eliminate the problem entirely. That's completely valid, dude. <laughs> that is. I don't want to die painfully like that. Just getting ripped apart limb from limb before you finally bleed out and go unconscious. I think you know, bro. My dream, my dream death, dude, is to die with a fucking sword in my chest and arrows in my back in the battlefield. You know, that's the Wait, dream. Arrows death. in your back? You know what I'm saying, dude? Just a fucking warrior's death, right? You, that's like you a do real realize way. if the arrows you are in your what? back, you either got shot by your homie or you were retreating. No, I'm just talking, dude. Last moments, bro. Fucking in the back, in the but I got a sword through the chest. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right? okay. So it, it doesn't matter. You went it doesn't to fucking your... matter. Oh, you it's coming everywhere, knees. right? Yeah, uh, like the fucking opening scene of Tropic Thunder. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just getting fucking annihilated. <laughs> you know? Uh, so that's like that's what I think is like the perfect death to do. I'm going down fighting. I think, I think it would be cool to put myself in a simulation to where I could see if I could survive either of them. Right? Yeah, it's not a half bad idea. You know? Right? Do you imagine? 
dude, that's where you can make some real money with virtual reality, bro. Yeah, like, no, imagine, I see what you're saying. Like, like set up like haptic simulated animal attacks. suits where you could like fight a grizzly <laughs> and like yeah, we well, just like wins. <laughs> it's like the 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 all the moms recording. It's like just their kids fight getting like back. fucking thrown around fight in like back. a fucking in like a in like a room, dude. Like uh, you know how they have the indoor skydiving where they're like fucking yeah, zooming around the room. Yeah. It looks like that, like the, like a scene from The Conjuring or something. <laughs> that would be, be a little funny. They're on like a crane is as the bear is yeah, like throwing getting, them. Just just... Thrown around. That would be amazing. <laughs> Knock God the damn, headphones off. God damn. But I, okay, the thing is, right, Sun Bear, dude. You are, are we still way on about this? I, we, we've we've answered the question, Hatch. It's it's died a Sun Bear. I think that I think that legitimately though, the Sun Bear is way more doable, dude. Because like any other kind of bear, you're fucking dead. Uh, I mean, I'm obviously, a, a, I don't know. A, a black bear, you're gonna that thing's gonna run away. That thing's a pussy. A black bear. Hey, I was gonna say, what was your what was your your thing you said? The I other posted day? it. I posted yeah, you it literally the other posted day. it in Discord. Hatch has a saying about bears. I posted it. All right, it goes: If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lie down. If it's white, say good night, dude. Because if it's a white bear, you are fucked. Yeah, polar bro. bears don't give. You a are done if you if you run into a polar bear. Bro, bro. you ever seen I, a, you ever seen a shaved bear? Uh, yeah, I thought, I remember thinking that, uh, getting baited into that, thinking that was a chupacabra. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. So someone told <laughs> you like, it was that. Chupacabra sighted in Mexico, but really it was just a shaved bear. Yeah, dude, shaved bears look fucking weird, Ew. bro. They dude, just... you ready? dude, if you think about it, dude, shaved guinea pigs are basically just mini hippos. Yeah? You ever, th you ever think of that? I, no. <laughs> dude, a shave, a naked guinea pig is basically a mini hippo. I Think yes. about that one. It, that one's not clicking for me. Dude, hippos are the fast as fuck. They swim. They're huge. They're strong. Hippos, hippos are picture, an apex predator. I have predator. a picture of a guy. Yeah, I have a picture of a guy uh, from like the 1800s uh, riding in a chariot being pulled by a hippo. Yeah, I, I can't that. I gotta try that. I gotta try and that. Dude, you know, the at least pig? I'm not saying stun bear yeah. or hippo. Yeah, no, no, I. I Hippo, see, you're fucking dead. Sorry, Brandon, you, you agree though? Like, there's no relation to guinea pig hippo. No, bullshit. no there's no relation. They just look like nah. it. No, they just look like it. Nah. Yes, no. come nah. on, bro. No, you I, I you, think bro. they, I think they look like mini hippos, bro. No, little fat sos, little blood mini legs. God damn it! <laughs> I don't know what y'all are talking about, dude. Uh, okay, by that same vein, does a dachshund look like a mini hippo? Oh, hold on, let me look up what a dachshund looks like. You're not gonna spell it right. God damn it! I want to see if he does. First try. <laughs> How did Hold you spell on. it? D o x i n. <laughs> nope. Oh, exactly. A doc a shreen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's German. What the fuck? It's a wiener dog, bro. It's a fucking hot dog. Yeah. Do they look the same? They have big bodies and small legs. Whoa, first of all, dude. Okay. Candied. Not even, bro. Not even, bro. <laughs> at least a fucking at least a fucking guinea pig at least looks like a fucking I would almost hippo. I would same, almost same. I would almost say the wiener dog looks more like a hippo than No a pig. dude. No, I that I am willing to die look, on this look fucking at it. sword. The ears? Yup. The the floppy same, ears. Same same. Same same. Yup, same same. But Shaved different, guinea but pig, dude. Dude. Look at that thing! You take away the ears, Drop that is a killing link. machine. Drop the link, bitch. Drop the link. Hold on, dude. Tell me this shit does not look like a fucking baby hippo, bro. You're about to be, you're you're about to be so How fucking pissed. How many images am I gonna have to add tonight? You're about God to be damn. so pissed. You're about, about to be, be so pissed. Tell me that shit does not look like a mini hippo. Uh, take away the ears. Take away the ears. One sec. I'm gonna open it up over here. <laughs> no. Yes! No! Yes! Take away the ears, that is a mini hippo. I mean, you guys can give your opinion, but... I don't, I don't think dude. so. Yeah, no, I don't, mm. I don't think so. Dude, come on, Brando, back me up, bro. I, I, no. Look, this, look, this meme even has a caption on it. That is a fucking horrible sized photo. Hold on, let me send a better one. I mean, I will say that's one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. Uh, you guys are seeing it on screen, but. I think that's adorable, bro. Uh, what? A little... you're, you're just you're you're taking a meme right now hatch that's what we're seeing this isn't even an original thought 
Well, no, I just thought of, well, the thing is, right, I, this was like a thing that I thought of in like seventh grade when that, someone asked me Before that the meme grade, was made, right? I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, probably while the meme was being made in its prime, <laughs> realistically, right? And, uh, dude, because look, look, at the meme that I just sent, look at the, look at the font on that. That just screams 2012, bro. It's so small, I don't even know if I can put that on the thing. Okay, hold on, I think like, I have a bigger one. The image it gave me was so tiny. I think I have a bigger one, hold on. Maybe not. It's all good. But, um... But yeah, so okay, Hatch. I I think it's time that we we wrap up uh, animal section with crocodile done Hatch. <laughs> Dude, I legitimately think that we're just four or nine times away from crushing in a crocodile skull. Well, you're you're almost there, that buddy. Not, does that not make sense to you guys? Isn't that something to work for? I mean, good luck, bro. I'm going to the gym. I was thinking, like, dude, uh, imagine. I was thinking of a man who can crush a crocodile skull. I was thinking of. Uh, that scene from Family Guy where Quagmire finds out about internet porn, right? <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, the walks outside. Arm. His fucking male has one fucking huge arm. He's like, it's over there. Fucking huge arm. That's the arm. Well, that's like that Rick and Morty too. When they go to the oh, like, when they Armageddon. go to the other planet, he's just yep, got the, the arm. Planet. Yeah. It's like, dude, I you actually injected fucking alien gladiator blood in me. <laughs> Yeah, Rick yeah. and Morty. Uh, good ass show, by the way. Um, <laughs> Did something happen with like the co-host of that? So, How, what's going I on? I kind of that? heard I, information, but I didn't like hear the full story, so I don't know. But yes, I think he was either charged, brought with in, or arrested, or, or something arrest. like that. Yeah, I'm not fully. I I don't know enough to bring it up. That's why I didn't. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. We'll have to find out next week. Well, maybe yeah. Well, maybe we'll have to dig into and i don't even know if it's like justin roiland or if it's another person like i'm not sure i think it's him though um but yeah so uh oh yeah last uh last thing podcast goal for the year um what do we what do we want to make our let's podcast try to, let's try to let's this? try to think of one that's good hype and realistic and we need to do something crazy. hype if it happens dude well you already know me bro are we dying there I don't know about that one. My hair's a little long now. <laughs> but uh, I'm definitely it's like this is three years cool. of growth. I'd have to redo. <laughs> no, this this is actually just over one year of growth. Damn, brother, that's a yeah. commitment though. Because dude, at World Cup 2021, I did not have the mullet. World Cup 2021. No, that's true. That's when you started right? to kind of grow it out. Yeah. That was when I had to shave my mustache because I lost a duel against Mike Arena. Oh, Fuck you yeah. for that, Mike Arena, on the record. That was the most least looking hatch there ever was. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. And now, dude, I, bro, my my aesthetic has changed so much over the past couple of years, dude. Got the fucking yeah. fanny pack, fucking mullet, mustache, dude. He wears that headband fuck, everywhere. It's not just on the show. No, it's, no, dude. He I shows up to, to the show with it on. No, dude. There was a party when I went to with Logan and Nico and AK, yeah. and I showed up and I got like fucking, I got fucking silver bullet coors in my fucking left hand, some fucking some a thing of white claws, and I got my headband on, and I'm like, let's fucking go. As soon as I walk in right Th dude, thanks for the I invite was, by the way appreciate that bro dude well i didn't even know i didn't even know about it well actually i didn't know about it i knew i knew a week in advance to be fair right but so i was also solid. i appreciate it thanks Tom. i don't know if i'm allowed to invite people bro <laughs> I, dude, I, I was freaking out the day up because i was like dude yo uh am i even are we all cool if i go and i'm like oh yeah sure it's all good i, I had i learned the day of the day of but the week before but the day I knew, I knew the party was happening. Hey, this is before, sus. I'm calling it sus. Get invited. Brandon, I didn't get invited. Until... You didn't invite Brandon either. I bet he would have loved to have gone. No, he would not have. <laughs> no, he would not. No. If I would have invited uh, Brandon, Brandon would have been like, nah, I'm good. What time? Is it before nine? Before bedtime? I don't know. Okay, well, I got there at like, oh shit, I probably got there at like nine. Yeah. So Brando's bedtime. Okay, yeah. So he would not have enjoyed that. Dude, that this was is on what a happens night, when though, you Brando. have a big boy job. That was on a Friday night. It was on a Friday night. It was on a Friday night. Yeah, it bedtime's at nine for paintball in the morning. Damn. All right. Good, good point. Time. This dude's on his grind. I respect it, bro. It's that Iron Man blood, bro. You can't take it away from him. All right, boys. I'm. I'm thinking we call it because uh, your boy is starving. I need to get some food. And hey, we've been doing the show for about two hours. Um, nice. That's that's Brandon's goal. That's Brandon's podcast goal. Is we do a two-hour oh, yeah. show two every week, every show. <laughs> oh shit, we didn't even think of a goal. We haven't. No, we didn't. didn't. Uh, so that just Fuck. reminded me. So um, I don't know, man. Something along the lines of. All right, if we get a million subscribers on YouTube, <laughs> here we go. 
we our mascot is a shaved guinea pig. If we get a million subscribers by so okay twenty twenty three or by the end of twenty twenty three. So let me get this straight. If all of our fans out there convince a lot of people to subscribe, about nine hundred and ninety thousand, we will buy a thirty cent pet. No. We're just gonna make that our mascot. So we will do <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah, how, dude? Could you imagine how like fucking gone for a gone for a ride that would be, dude? From the sidelines, that's, paintball podcast. That's scam. It's a fucking shaved guinea pig. Do you imagine? I mean, it's kind of hype, but my thing is like that's imagine not it worth happen. it. Like that's not like a hey guys, make sure you subscribe because we'll make a guinea pig our mascot. Shaved guinea pig. I don't Maybe care. I don't like. care. I don't know, man. Maybe You're the maybe, only uh, one who's on about the shaved guinea pig shit, dude, bro. I'm going to be dude, honest. Because the thing is, it you. looks like a baby pig. It looks like a baby hippo, bro. Maybe oh, with, like, if the hippo had, like, fucking claws and floppy ass ears, but. <laughs> You're on one, bro. Um, Thanks, man. All right. Well, I'm I'm going to do the thing where I try to wrap this up. And so we will see how well this goes. Because, um, fuck, I'm tired. So, yeah. Uh, hey, guys. I'm going to talk to you now, our lovely viewers out there in the chat. Mm -hmm. um, if you can take, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, scroll down to the bottom of your app, whether it be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and drop a rating for us. You know, if it's five stars, uh, that helps us out. Uh, it really does. Um, so the more you guys do that, the more kind of support it kind of shows with the show and the more that we can kind of branch out, get up in the algorithm. And uh, hey, it's free, takes 20 seconds, and it really supports us. So I think that's a fair trade. I would definitely appreciate it. And I know these guys would too. If you're on those platforms, you can also make sure to subscribe so you'll get all the updated shows when, you know, the second that they're out. Uh, but if you don't want to wait until they're out, you can head over to Patreon, which is patreon.com slash mafia underscore productions. So patreon.com slash mafia underscore productions. If you head over there, you get access to these podcasts the second they are ready to go live. The second they are edited, they get uploaded over there and they are free to go. Um, so you also get access to, uh, we got bonus content. We got ad free versions of content that goes live on YouTube um, as well as, you know, these shows. So yeah, uh, head over there. Uh, we also sometimes we do giveaways uh, we haven't done one in recently but uh we definitely want to kind of get back to that in 2023 so it's on the radar we're uh we're moving forward with stuff like that uh couple yeah two more things uh we got the merch which is over at mafiadigitalmedia.com head over there pick something up got the sweatshirt on behind me um and yeah you can find something you like over there uh we need to get like a coupon code for like podcast supporters or, or something like that we'll have to we'll have to figure that out we'll see what we can do um mm. and then definitely last but definitely not the least one liquid iv where's my box it is right here appreciate you guys thanks for coming on the show thanks for supporting us um if you guys want to grab some of yourself head over to liquidiv.com use the code mafia underscore moffit m-a-f-i-a -A underscore m-o-f-f-i-t-t -T. and hey you get 20 percent off free shipping and it helps out your boys over here on the show so we appreciate it this has been a dope ass episode it's episode 25 guys quarter of a dude, century liquid iv liquid iv bro dude you're, you're outrunning that sunbear <laughs> you are zooming no, past I don't. that sunbear. No, you're still dying. Liquid IV does not give you superhuman strength. That is you no. You know what? Dying. It makes you last a little but, bit longer. It's, okay. Um, but yeah, you'll guys. get that bear hydrated. It, it'll, yeah, exactly. There you go. Yes. <laughs> you'll help the bear hydrate more. Okay, makes mm -hmm. sense. Um, so perfect. Uh, yeah, the, the show 25 uh, quarter century. That's what I was gonna say. Um, yeah, you guys. Any any final thoughts over there, boys? I'll let you go first, Brando. Ooh, 25. This is only the beginning. I I can't wait You're so for... Pixelated. Shit. Uh, dude, my favorite pixel. Again, man. this is only the beginning. Only the beginning. I hope we, it's we the get, beginning. We only, we only go up from here. 25, a quarter of the way uh, for this show. Uh, Going to be six months. We're Once you know it, we're going to be a year and fucking many years. And I'll have a better web slide show. But, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be pixelated soon. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's going to be crazy. We're going to, we're going to go back like in the future, literally a year from now and look at these episodes and be like, dude, look at us. Dude, we right? sucked. <laughs> right. We're going to be, we're going to be like, dude, like, Oh my God, who the fuck would ever even listen to those episodes? Right. Cause, uh, cause we're going to, we're just going to be 
bounce, we bounce so many ideas off each other, dude. I fucking love being here, right? There's so many such a good environment to be around. Okay, we, we can blow ourselves after the show. Let's let's go ahead and wrap it up now. Um, so for these guys here, which uh, you know, we got Stephen Hatch, Brandon, Brando, Baird, and then hey, it's me, Ryan Mafia Moffitt. This has been from the sidelines, episode twenty five. We appreciate you guys for listening, and we will catch you on the next one. Let them know what time it is, Hatch. Why? <laughs> Peace out, guys.